Hi, folks. Welcome. And everything's gone wrong immediately. Where are the cameras? <laughs> there they are. Hey, presto. Hello. Technology. Welcome, technology. Welcome to another technically minded No Big Neil uh, with myself and... Wait a second. I got something for you, Tom. Wait, wait, wait. My, myself and... Okay. Myself and... Your postman that you used to really like, and you were going to give him like a big tip at the day he was going to retire, but you never actually saw him. Then 10 years later, you saw him at the seaside, and he didn't have any change. Tom DeVille. Um, oh, that's fine, mate. It's all right. Just don't know. No, you know, what I'm saying is in the future, right? I really when your postman to. comes around, especially at Christmas, you should give him... Oh, I was going to. That's all. I just didn't see that's you. That's all. It's, I didn't it know just, you were it just makes it easier between us. You know what I mean? It's I know, just a nice I, thing. I didn't realize. I mean, my mum um, knew, but I didn't know. I'm sorry. Through rain, through snow, I'm, I'm bringing you mail. All right, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, but all, all right. right. On, on your way. On your way. Sorry, sorry. Pat. No one knows. No one's gonna know what that. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was really weird. Basically, if you don't know what the fuck we're talking about, and hello everybody in chat, and hello to our guest, I'll get to in a second. We start. I basically try and throw Tom improvis improvisationally under the bus at the start of every show. So I give him a character to play that he has to immediately improvise without any thought. And so far. He's pulled out trumps every single time. So well done to you, Tom. Thank you. Thanks. You're Thank you. It's our little acting improv exercise. It it's like keeping the muscles group. all Welcome, warmed up. Amelia, to the improv group. Don't worry, you don't have to do any improv. I'm so glad it's... to hear, be here. I wish I'd brought an alcoholic drink, honestly. We did warn you. We did give you time. Yeah. <laughs> it's your own fault. <laughs> so, if you want to go and get one, we will not judge. We won't judge. We'll won't just talk about brace you yourselves. as you go. You? Yeah. Uh, speaking of introductions, here up over this direction, over there, if like I'm a weatherman, is uh, my mm -hmm. great friend who I've known literally for years and the one of the best voice actors uh, in the whole of the UK, if not Europe, if not the world, with a blur. huge blur, I know, with a huge amount of work underneath uh, their belt and also some of the best characters you can play in RPGs and all kinds of amazing things, including things you can't talk about right now. Um, mm -hmm. We'd like to introduce our wonderful friend, Amelia Tyler, who plays the narrator stroke kind of dungeon master of Baldur's Gate 3. Amelia, hello. Hi. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. What a month, huh? What a this month. This has been interesting. Barely noticed any change whatsoever. Yeah, just it's just usual yeah, stuff. It's a bland day. <laughs> Everything's been entirely normal and my life is yeah. not insane at all now. Not in the slightest. In fact, if anything, we have a support group simply because we're bored. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's the only reason for the group chat. That's the only reason like, for the group chat. Is anyone else waiting for the phone to ring? I'm yeah, tired. I don't know, know what's happening. So, folks, we do actually have a group chat. Uh, you'll be pleased to know with all of the making pet, with all the, <laughs> the companions mm -hmm. and also uh, the narrator, which is, of course, this person over here. Um, we are going to do questions because Amelia is an amazing talent and it's really, we're really lucky that you have time to be with us. And thank you so much for doing that. That's uh, all right. So, as usual, folks, Mod's going to help moderate. Uh, Tom's going to then also help ask the questions. Uh, we're not going to be playing, yes. because there's a lot of stuff going on and we want to focus on Amelia, we're not going to be playing whilst we ask the questions, which I think is better for everybody, quite frankly, in this room, particularly us two I, over here. I don't know about you, but I'm an ADHD mess, so that would be yeah. massively helpful. A little well, chaotic you. on this side as well. <laughs> Cheers. Um, so we're not going to play straight away. We are going to get into asking some questions, if that's cool, Millie. Yeah, and, yeah, good, uh, yeah. And also, hello very quickly to the mods, uh, the amazing mods in the Discord channel and also... Hey, mods. Hi, mod love. Uh, we can't do this without you. <laughs> And we really appreciate you building this amazing community around what Tom and I started as a lark. Uh, so, right, there you go. Uh, so, hey, Jake. <laughs> so very, uh, first up, uh, Tom, do you have any questions for Millie? I, I definitely have the questions for Millie, but yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead, sir. Hit me. So, what, okay, lots of questions, lots of questions. So, firstly, you are a big, I know for a fact that you are a big RPG player. Anyway, mm -hmm. aren't you? So I just wondered if you would like to just hell of a way talk us through. Like, do you, you stream RPGs and stuff like that? Tell yeah, us I mean, I, about your RPG playing. Um, God, I I started out quite late. I was uh, well into my thirties when I started playing. Um, mm -hmm. uh, just tabletop generally, and I just fell in love with it instantly and i've played so many systems since nice. then I've, uh, lots of like vampire the masquerade i was in a long running um a song of ice and fire campaign which is like game of thrones universe cool. um all, all sorts of different genres um like a horror sci-fi with that we did a couple of one shots where we were little old ladies 
um just from anything really that's and I, amazing i like the idea yeah. of that that's oh it's a great yeah yeah, yeah i'll link brilliant. i'll link you to the system it's really yeah, fun yeah, and amazing. it's it focuses on the cinematic side of things so you can make your own sort of that's so coders good. to episodes or scenes have you, and have stuff. you ever it's played really is smart. it um fiasco no i haven't played it's, fiasco though. i played it with benjamin diebling who is the director from quantic dream after a shoot, literally after a shoot, we nice. went out to his, had pizza and played fiasco. And basically everything is, um, oh God, which is the director? It's, it's based on a director's, a particular director's, the Coen brothers. It's basically uh-huh. every, everything is a Coen brothers movie and you have booklets and you have to create characters in the movie. And then each person gets to move the movie on. And you have no idea how it's going to end up or where it's going to go. Oh my uh, God, it's, that it's amazing. Like so much it's fun. Of, yeah, it is. If you, especially if you have like a, a, a group of people that are, quite erudite and quite um, articulate and, and really up for improvisation is one of the best games. It takes a while, but when it gets going, it's just amazing. It's a brilliant, oh, brilliant game. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I've got a couple of groups. Uh, at the moment, I'm just playing offline because I just needed a little bit of a break. So I've got two D&D campaigns running at the moment. That's a lot. Just to, yeah, well, the alternate weekends. Okay. <laughs> so, so you get that kind of week of waiting where you're going a little bit insane. No, no, no. This is my weekend with the group. <laughs> <laughs> oh it's it's so much fun but yeah we've we've got ideas brewing for other games and things and i i just i, I love playing with different groups and meeting different people and just uh finding those people you click with that's it's really been cool. really really fun Amazing. so yeah I'm, I'm up for a bit of anything when it comes to tabletop it's cool um, uh, Good disclaimer so, at the end of that thing. <laughs> I like the fact that you, the, 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 the comma was much needed, darling. <laughs> it really was. Thank you. Put your comma in there, darling. Oh um, God, we've started already. Yes, we have. It's too late. You um, and me in a string oh, together yes. is such a bad it's a idea. It's a fucking nightmare, mate. I don't know what the hell we were thinking. You never met Malady. We're in trouble. I did mate. not meet Malady. I would like to. No, meet she's basically the prototype for a Starian from what I together, so only she... with more power. All oh, right, okay. So she's, She's, she's the sort of un, unpolished one, then, is she? <laughs> Darling, if you want to call it that, that's what you can call it. Holy shit, one. she's the female Astarian. <laughs> Amazing. Or rather, I'm the male you, I guess, is actually. Yeah, pretty much. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah I realise the It's, order it's no big secret, but like when you first meet her, she's one of those. Uh, uh, Annoying characters, I guess, but she's not. She's amazing. Uh, Larian <laughs> keeps casting me as women like this. Women that you can't sleep with, but you have to work with in order to the unobtainable. further the plot. The unobtainable. Yeah, like, <laughs> unobtainable, but unavoidable. That's great. You if should... you try to kill her at the very beginning when you meet her, she just yeah. goes, don't, and don't. vanishes. <laughs> vanishes. Just this yeah. utterly <laughs> disdainful. Oh She's God. wonderful. You should add that to your resume. The utterly, uh, utterly awesome and unobtainable of Nina Tyler. <laughs> Sounds like a Victorian sideshow. I'm down. Amazing. Show a bit of ankle. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, amazing. Ankle, That's... you're fluency. <laughs> We're a bit loose on this channel. I look at my arms out. I mean, <laughs> Tom and I, loose. Tom and I both have our arms like out. Look at that. Tom. We're tanked up by these. Yay. That's what they'll call your you. Window, your, your window is much smaller than mine. What You're like squished down in the corner there. I, I don't want Come to on, see buddy, you stretch out. My, I don't want to seem like having a bigger window than you. Stretch yours. out. Weird. I know if I do this, everything's going to go wrong, Tom. You realize that, mate. I'm a bit terrified. Oh, okay. No, I, I'm going to not do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to judge that. you on the size of your window, Neil. Don't it's how worry. The quality it's, of the it's the quality of the camera. Isn't I'm afraid I am judging you, Amelia. I really haven't touched. <laughs> oh, good. So now it's going to go to my head. Don't get intimidated. Don't get intimidated. Yours is lovely. An hour, an hour later, we start the game. Very good. So, uh, just let so you know, we are, we are we are still very much the gentleman streamers. This is not a professional show. We However, are gentleman streamers. Gentlemen to, streamers. Yeah. Yeah. So we are, yeah. are we well, amateurs and lovers of. Yeah. Um, very, mm-hmm. uh, with that in mind, I need to grab something real quick. Um, Tom, do we have a first question? For I'm going to have a question for Amelia. Like, connected. Yeah. Like, so, following on right. from, like, you know, you're an enthusiastic, like, tabletop gamer. So, like, what are your favorite, you know, relations to like, what are the favorite games that you work, like, in relation to that kind of, like, I mean, obviously, this is a big one. Baldur's Gate 3 is a huge one. So, uh-huh. but you worked with Larian before. Like, what are your, like, uh, like the ones like the jobs of people, and you were like, "Yes, I'm so excited." <laughs> um, Honestly, it doesn't for me. It doesn't matter what size the game is. If the part is really mm-hmm. juicy, and I feel like I can get my teeth into it, I get super excited. So I love working with indies mm-hmm. as well because there's a yeah. lot more 
opportunity mm -hmm. to get in at the very beginning of development rather than being brought on when the script's already written. Um, and more and more companies are doing that now. Would you, but would you say there's a certain misconception fun. that when actors start, especially actors that have a long uh, year, many years of experience and many projects under their belt like you do mm. um, do you think there's a misconception that like at, they're no longer in reach of indie developers like they're oh now yeah. you're at a certain level blah 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 because I'm like you I, I do everything from indie double A triple A I don't care yeah, yeah. Good. but do you think there's, yeah. a, there's a thing about that have you experienced that yeah absolutely and uh, just bumping into people at conventions or something like that, you, you get that kind of feeling like if they've played a game you've been in they almost feel nervous asking right no, well, they assume that you've seen an audition where yeah. whereas that is not necessarily the trick like just email me dude it's fine yeah yeah we will um, work <laughs> we will work with pretty much anybody that's good we don't we are yeah. not proud like that um, no. which is it's, a good thing it's a job right yeah it's a job um, exactly as, as long as the project is something i want to put my name to i think that's that's the thing i'm picky about are you good mm -hmm. people is this you know something i want to see in the world yeah, exactly. As, think, as long as it's not like horribly offensive or made by dreadful people, then chances are, if I've got time, I will say yes. I think it's the, the, the uh, I'm not going to say the game, actually. There's one game I don't think I'd relish being in, but that doesn't exist anymore, I think. I'm pretty sure it's mm. Thursday. I will text you because, you know, it's never a good idea to go on live and say that. Uh -huh. But I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, yeah. There is like a certain type of game that is kind of okay, but then when, when it crosses a certain line, you're like, really, what is what is this game for? Like, what is the purpose of that? Yeah. I think it's important that actors do have a certain amount of uh, understanding of, okay, this is a great game. It's got this this element in it. It's ultra-violent or we've got sex in it, but does it have substance? And is mm -hmm. that okay? Therefore, do I yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. Um, for instance, Baldur's Gate 3, very horrific in moments, uh, a lot of sex, a lot of violence, also a huge amount of pathos, a huge amount of amazing storylines that are deeply heartfelt, that have had passion put into them. The writing has been incredibly conscientious about dealing head on with very heavy topics, which mm. I think a lot of people have resonated with, which is amazing. So this is a good example of how you can have these very heavy themes, but done right, done in the right way. Yeah, um, I, I suddenly realized mm -hmm. halfway through you talking about it, like there's loads of sex and loads of violence. And I, and I was just like, mm -hmm. and then you were like, but there's lots of depth. So, oh, oh yeah, I did the true. wrong face. For that no, 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 no. Like, I, I, <laughs> I'm really, how are we with swearing on this stream, by the uh, way? We are a mature channel. We have a discord, which is family friendly kids. You so, have never been mature in a day in your life. I know, life. it's a misconception. You it's lie actually, to these it's, people. It's sort of like, it's sort of like voluntary, <laughs> it's like vol self-voluntary, what do they call it in tax system when you're self-employed? Voluntary contract contributions which are mandatory mm -hmm. kind of like that so it's a okay. mature channel which means we're very uh -huh. mature and we yeah. swear a lot um, yeah. well in that case i i fucking loved the darker side of Baldur's gate yeah, 3 no, me too. Um, yeah, it was amazing. i don't know have you have you played any dark urge yet no we've literally this is our, we have been waiting for fucking weeks this is our first playthrough dude. we have not touched this Okay, well, when when you've done your good guy I'm playthrough, doing a dark do a dark edge, that might and be off then you get though. to meet a side of me that not many people get to meet. Really, I did not know that. I didn't <laughs> mm -hmm. know that. Well, yeah, no, there's um, there are like sixteen different narration styles in this game, Holy and fuck. I don't think oh, wow. a lot of people realize that. It's not that we did the entire script sixteen times. Sure. But the read styles are tailored depending on uh, which to? character wow. which character you are. So, like, Astarian has his own style of narration. Oh, um, I didn't know depending that. I did demand on... it, though, darling. <laughs> Just for specific Astarian moments. That's so there's, really like, cool, a man. generic narrator, but then there's one that goes a little bit more smirky in Astarian. There's more of a shadow heart one. There's a Karlak one. That's really cool. But there's also, if, you, if you've got a patron, if you've got a fey patron or wow. um, a you know a hellish patron like they they all have different vibes to them if you're talking to the tadpole in your head the tadpole is very similar to the early uh, narration that we did for early access That's so it's very smirky and manipulating you and very That's consciously amazing. manipulating That's you so cool you must have had so much fun doing it. i did you know what I, I knew that you would probably tonality in tonality terms change mm -hmm. things slightly i didn't realize it was it was as broad and as and also oh. weirdly as specific as that that's so you cool. wait till you hear dark urge it's like amazing. dark urge gets dialogue nobody else gets that's so and cool it's really um yeah yeah you'll amazing. you'll meet the darkness that lives in the back of my head that's not allowed to come out very often. <laughs> <laughs> amazing well this is the thing so we're going to play through the entire game 
Um, we're doing it once. I, if I, I want to play, I am going to play Dark Urge. I won't be online because I will mm-hmm. never play Probably anything else. Probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never mm-hmm. just be playing this game for three years. It's just, it's too much. So, yeah. um, but we are going to play this through. Um, do, do you want to do another question? Do you want to play? How do you all feel? I got one more question. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm sort of working backwards. I've been working backwards. I meant to start with this book. <laughs> How do you like three questions? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what was your starting point in in working in games? Like, where? How did you get into um, uh, working in video games? Uh, well, I've been a voice actor since I was five years old. Wow. So oh, wow. Um, so that was 1986 I started working professionally Holy and cow, uh, I've been doing it ever since. There was like a weird, um, dodgy... Did you, did you sound like that then? Yes, I sounded <laughs> exactly like this. It was really creepy. <laughs> uh, of what gave me my appeal. She's a terrific voice actor, but she's very, very mature. Wow, <laughs> weirdly, really I'm, I'm still five. They just cried, gently froze me. Um, <laughs> no, it was uh, it was weird because I started that young and then you hit about 12, 13 years old and people don't want you to be this cute kid anymore. They want you to actually read the script to time and do it properly. And I, I just had the most horrible experience that first session i i oh, don't right. do failure well sure. I, I always have very high standards for myself so i came home and was just destroyed that i'd been bad mm-hmm. and then i sat there and was like well i can either cry about it and never do it again and be frightened or i can get good and then every day for the next few years after school i would lock myself in my mum's recording booth and practice for at least an hour every single day. I love the idea um, that in my head mm-hmm. I've just immediately popped up like a Rocky montage of your lyrics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's just me doing trills and that like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that fucking amazing. Yeah. So like I, did, the, I did your that. Your mum, like people coming in and you're just shaking your head as like they go go away. Yeah. And they understand. No, I'm not done. Not now. No. They're okay. We get it. Thirteen year old Millie just doing <laughs> reps in the booth. Um, but I, I come from a like a theatre and a, a TV background as well, so I, I kind of had all that experience. Um, and I think when I graduated from uni, because my my uni degree was in experimental psychology. So I was going to be working with serial killers. And I came oh, out shit. of uni and was like... End up working with serial killers. <laughs> Actually, kind of, yeah. Acting. But it's it, in a weird way, it's the least used, most used degree I think I could have got because... I don't know, I, you've I, had to deal with producers for a while, so maybe. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's been really useful because that's how I approach characters. Mm. Now I I try I get into their heads. So when mm. I get into the booth, I don't feel like I'm performing. There's like there's the version of me that's talking, mm-hmm. um, and then there's the performer me, like in the back of my head, just kind of going, okay, speed that bit up a bit. Okay, just uh, no, that's how you pronounce that word. But yeah. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm really steering it. Um, if I can get into a character's head, I I it's like really short term, um, like immersion acting. You're going um, for the organic moment because you're being present yeah. and you're just being the character as yeah. opposed to trying to reach for the character. Yeah, yeah sure. but, but I think that's partly because I've, I've got um, a Fantasia and I didn't know this until a couple of years ago when somebody was like, oh, you know, there's a name for that thing where you can't picture stuff in your head, right? Mm. And I suddenly realized that whenever anybody was giving me direction in the booth about like, this is how far away something is from you. Yeah. Um. I was translating that rather into something visual. I was translating it into an emotion or a feeling, oh, the feeling of somebody being that far away from me or the feeling of uh, having just oh, well, been okay. running. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So I can't picture an apple, but I can absolutely play a serial killer. <laughs> 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 it doesn't make a whole lot of um, sense, but I like the fact yeah. that <laughs> but, but, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, interesting, it's interesting that you say that because it also proves a point that there are many different ways to approach the craft. There are many mm. different tools to approach the craft. There isn't just one way, but ultimately, as, you, as your young teenage self proved, you have to do some work to get yeah. there. It doesn't make a difference which route you mm. go. It's whatever yeah. works for your instrument. So that's a really yeah, amazing. Yeah. I didn't know that about you, Millie, actually. We've known each other <laughs> yeah. for years. And, yeah. yeah well, no. I guess you don't ever have these conversations unless you have these conversations. And You and I try um, to avoid acting conversations as much as possible. Yeah, we I feel. do. <laughs> like, we lots of actors just going, oh, talk about acting. And you're like, let's talk uh-huh. about anything else. <laughs> and literally anything in the world aside from our work. 
Um, cool. But the oh, the question was actually about video game. Um, so I I kind of bumbled along doing a mix of everything for ages, mm. uh, but never did games because mm -hmm. because it was the nineties and mm. so there there weren't voices like that in games really in the nineties. Um, and then. I, I was really trying to make a push for screen acting. And I remember going for an audition mm. with an agent who was like, oh, yeah, this is fantastic. This is perfect. We need to get you seen for Game of Thrones. We need to get you seen for this, that and the other. And it was made to feel like it was a sure bet. And I yeah, yeah. got home mm -hmm. and the next day I got an email going, oh, straight after you came in, we met somebody who looked very similar to you, but had a bit more experience. Mm. So it's going to have to be no. Wow. And I remember just going, no. Nah this doesn't make me happy. Not at all. I don't want to do mm. this anymore. I would, I would be much happier not putting myself through this and just going back and doing commercial voiceover. And that's my life now. It's interesting you and say that mm -hmm. every actor has a, a moment, sadly, with probably, you know, an agent experience where they are mm. made to feel not important enough to be, to, it really knocks you. I remember having a meeting, thankfully I was experienced, but I had a meeting where I was like, this is insane. What am I doing here? You have no, yeah, yeah, you have yeah. no interest in seeing me and actually being I, very rude. So why the fuck am I here? Yeah. Where's I think that? in, in that case, it was the best thing that could have happened to me because I was very nervous about it. I was trying to be something. Yeah. And the second that I relaxed and just mm -hmm. went, uh, yeah. I'm just not gonna anymore. I'm just going to be me. Yeah. The second I did that and fell into the, it was like a trust fall with my own talent. God, that sounds wanky, doesn't it? No, no, you at know all. what I mean. Not at all. No, no, not at all. I relaxed into what I actually am rather than trying to please people. And literally two months later, I booked my first video game gig, and it's been nonstop ever since. And there's so like, many I found my home here. That. There's so many books written about that, though, Millie. It's like the Action yeah. the Target by uh, Declan Donnellan, for instance, is a good example. Um, then the Art Archery, which has got nothing to do with acting, but is a very good actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about. It sounds like you know esoteric and all this kind of stuff, but actually mm. it is basic relaxation the second that you just go well this is what is the act yeah. that i am and don't try and please anybody and just offer up your version yeah. of the work and it's difficult because the pressure of the industry blah 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 you know mm -hmm. so great that yeah. i mean it's a really amazing to hear that story so again didn't know that because you and i don't often talk about acting together <laughs> we don't talk about avoid. deep things we talk about we deep talk things we just don't talk about fucking acting yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to talk about that? Do you know what I mean? So, but it's yeah. nice to hear this side of you because this is new information yeah. to me. So it's great, it's very cool. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm an actor. <laughs> Let's talk about acting ah, techniques. Go and what away! Like to do. I don't want to talk. I'm to going to explain all my methodology. Give me your business card. I will insert it into you. Here's my CV, just in case you know somebody that I can. No, no, no. It's all that bullshit. No, 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 no. Keep it real. Um, so, on that note, uh, do we want to take one question from chat and then Tom? I believe you're in a oh, lot of shit right now, dude. I think exactly. you're in a lot of shit. Yeah, you dropped me in the shit, buddy. I did not buddy. drop you in. Um, I just pressed a button. That's not my fault. I don't take responsibility for stuff I don't know. Why are we fighting, boys? We're not fighting. We're about to be fought. Oh, okay. That's fine then. <laughs> I have a question before we start. Yeah. Am I right in thinking a little bird tells me that you're romancing yourself? I, that is not true. I've only just met myself. That's really presumptuous. Uh -huh. That's incredible. Okay. He's blatantly going to do that, to though, Amelia. Because He's that, so that is on. peak yeah. new bond, honestly. Tom, Tom and Amelia. Tom and Amelia. <laughs> yeah. Tom and Amelia. We yes. are, Tom and I are gentlemen streamers. I'm so glad you came on and said that, Amelia. I'm so glad. <laughs> and gentlemen's never discuss details such uh -huh, as that. Sure. <laughs> All right, very quickly, folks, I did see something in chat. Um, just in case there's any confusion, and we're going to put out a social media about this, and it's also going to be on Streamly. Signings are still happening. Uh, VIP has, VIPs have priority um, for the signings. We are going to be signing. We only ever sign any everything live on camera, as there have been some questions about that I've heard. Um, you'll never, there's going to be your, your uh, print signed live. That's a thing. Um, however, we can't, we don't know when you're going to be watching. So we're going to put up the schedule for the next five or six signings because that's how long it's going to take us to finish, which is amazing. Thank you very much. Um, it's going to be next week and we're aiming to finish by next Sunday. And uh, if you look out for our socials today and over the next couple of days, you'll see the signing schedule. It's going to be, uh, I think tomorrow we're doing a playthrough. Sunday's a signing. Monday, Tuesday's mm. a signing. Wednesday's a playthrough. Saturday, Sunday's the last mega signings, which is going to be quite a long time, actually. Um, so just check out our socials. Rest assured, we sign everything live. Nothing is pre-signed. Um, and thank you for that. We also have a Discord channel where you'll find information about that too. 
Right, last question, no? And let's get into wondering how Tom is going to get out of this. Hang game. on a second. <laughs> um, I haven't got, I haven't got, um, I need to get check. Uh, Neil, have you got a question? Um, you do a question. All right. Um, question. Um, okay. Ask um, me anything. I have no pride. So weird asking you an acting question. All right. So I Those will ask then. You... Ask me a dumb question. What's your sign? No, I'm going to ask you a uh. question about. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that's ask... my sign. No, that's your sign. I... <laughs> no. You know the funny thing is, I know that's your sign. Um, <laughs> so I, I, there's a question from chat I saw, which is a little general, but why not? Well, let's ask it. Um, so have you actually played much of BG3 yourself, and how was your experience? Mm. Yeah. I have not played any of it yet. I have watched a lot of people yeah. streaming it. It's all a little bit fresh for me still yeah. um, because there was just so much. Mm. Um, and I'm kind of waiting for that knowledge to fade a little bit so I can enjoy it. Sure. Um, I watched uh, Jay stream it a lot. I watched Co stream it a lot. Um, but I think I'm going to need a tiny bit of a break before I do that, Jay were Jay and I were toying with the idea of potentially role playing through the game. Nice, just for shits and giggles, because nice. uh, we used to role play together in a couple of different character combinations. So we're probably either going to be a really grumpy South African merc and a, a <laughs> tiny pink fawn who sounds like this, and she's ever so excited about everything, or. Um, a dreadfully posh brother and sister duo that we used to play. Oh, that's a uh, tough Red call. Dead. You're gonna have to flip a coin. Oh, on them, mate. Yeah, they're just atrocious human beings. Atrocious human beings. Just like, well, yeah, <laughs> well, you know, some of us might appreciate that, darling. Um, <laughs> cool. Okay, good. So we are. I think we're gonna get, get get started, and then we'll come back for another question, Tom. I think that's a good idea. Because I am yes. really chomping at the bit to see how you're going to get out of this fucking mess that I feel somehow is your responsibility. I mean, I'm a paladin, and we excel in fighting the undead. So, so what happened Dude, at the end Tom, of the last we're episode, level one, mate. <laughs> We're level two, actually. We're level oh, two, yeah, we're level two. so yeah, 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 I'm sure, feeling confident. Sure. Um, <laughs> what happened at the end of the last stream, then? You pulled a switch or something. I and pressed that a button. It's the... not the same thing as pulling a switch. I just pressed an innocent-looking button. I mean, basically, you did an Indiana Jones fuck up, and now we're fighting one dead. That's what happened, isn't basically. it? We're so in a crypt, in a and crypt. you revive the undead. I didn't revive them, and they so all that's, they that's all got up around me. They haven't grouped up around Where you. Where are they you? Just got up. I'm just safely in the corner, in the shadowy corner over here. So um, yeah, let's have I'm... a look. <laughs> so let's have a look around. So there is one, two, three, four. Uh, possibly five, uh, uh, six, maybe, undead beings. Oh, there's probably one in here, actually. I think we're pretty Brilliant. sure there's there. There's at least six of them, yeah. let's say. Uh, they look pretty pissed off, especially because we nicked all their weapons, Tom, which I think, in retrospect, was a very smart yeah, That's move. probably good. That's probably you know, good. Unless they've got secret... Unless they're going to start, like, I don't know, hitting us with their... Or like, well, they could just, like, pull off an arm and hit it with that. They could do that. I don't so know. Just a quick refresher. Happen. Just a quick refresher. Here is our party. I play Bowie. Um, actually, I'm going to have to move your screen there for a second, if I can remember where your screen is. Uh, just going to move your screen a tiny bit, Amelia. This might feel a little weird. Whoop, whoop, whoop. whoop. There you go. So this is Bowie, uh, who is my character. Um, just gonna, can I zoom in? Oh, that's pretty cool. I can zoom in. Okay, uh, that's Bowie, who is a um, oh, half-elf, wood-elf uh, druid, um, and it's also pansexual, and that is my main character. This is a Starian. Don't know who he is, but he's probably quite fabulous. Uh, this is a Sara Toriel, which you can explain <laughs> introduce, uh, if you want to, Tom. Uh, yeah, uh, Azra, Azra, who sorry, is your name a tiefling paladin. Mm -hmm. um, they they sort of got, like, they were drops on the on the steps outside a monastery when they were a baby, and the monastery has brought them up to be a sort of champion for good. But they are kind of not sure whether they're into that or not. They are, there's a lot of internal struggling going on whether they're going to basically give themselves to the demonic ways or not. Nice. Um, nice. You also have a you also were bequeathed a really nice sword from somebody very generous. Where did Neil and how 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 much did I have to like? I had to give you like a speech to convince you to give me the sword that you couldn't use. Uh, you had to beg. To, yeah. Let's be honest in front of everybody. <laughs> you had to beg. I mean, cool. yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Begging no the kind yeah. of speech. 
Is it kind of speech begging? Yeah. Anyway, uh, the safe word is favoring. Right, so we are back in it. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. We've got this big fuck off. You've got this big fuck off sword. So I feel rather confident. Uh, first up, interestingly, is our boy Astarian first in line. What fun. What fun. What fun. It's so interesting hearing, because a lot, of, a lot of stuff I... First in line, though, it's awful, isn't it? I've never come second in his life, I think. <laughs> never come second in his life. That's not that's not strictly true, but he <laughs> pretends that's true. Outrageous. <laughs> Outrageous slander. That's slanderous, darling, but it's fair enough. Uh, okay, so I'm going to... I've got no... If I, can I reach this? I can reach this person. I don't have enough action resources? Well, that's fucking bullshit. All right, I went into hiding, so I'm just going to hide up here and, and just wait and see what happens for entertainment's value. Okay, next up is Shadow Heart, I believe. <laughs> Uh, what do you do with Shadow? Yeah, I've got Shadow Heart with me. Yeah, she's here. Go on. So Hang is, on. Why, is, it, why, is the volume okay, folks? It's on my speakers, so sorry about that. If it's too loud, let me know. Uh, Millie as well, please let me know. It's yeah. I've just got, going. Neil, when I yeah. click on my characters, I've just got like a a little timer in the corner. Like, what? You know where you get your action, like end action or whatever? It's just got like a little timer there. It means you like can a little. Do stuff. Now is the time to do stuff. Okay. Yeah. It's you, not you, letting me do anything. It's shadow Heart, you want to move, not your character. Okay. Click on Shadow Heart as well. Okay. So you should now be able oh, to. Oh, yeah. Move. Okay. I can move. All right. Okay. Shadow Heart time. Oh, God. I just, ended right, my, gonna... I just ended my character's turn thinking it was your, that it was helpful. Fuck. Oh, well. That's I good. I was trying to help you, good. and well, I just ended my thing. I blame you for that, Tom. If you die, that's on you, sir. Shadow Heart. <laughs> Going to take right. out. I'm just seeing if Shadowheart's got anything good against undead. She's got a lot of stuff. Um, she's got a lot of stuff. Guiding light, that kind of stuff. Well, I just run her in, so she's meant to with a bow, which is not a good hit. idea. Okay, good. You've changed one. Right, no. I'm going to stop backseating and just let you die so, the way that you wish to die. It's fine. <laughs> oh, she missed. She missed. <laughs> All right, she's. This is already going so badly. All right, good. Uh, next up is them. They are. Let's see how the boys. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, opportunity attack from Shadowheart. Very good. You've now been silenced, which means Ooh. you can't use any magic. Shadowheart got silenced. Yeah, you Great. can't use any yes. magic, dude. Shadowheart. Yeah, can't use magic. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Uh, okay, so that's. I didn't know they had silence. That's new. Um, <laughs> Dominican's <laughs> turn. So it's, now, it's now Azra's turn with a big flaming fuck off sword. So. What was that? Azra is going to divine smite this one here. Nice. Can if she can reach it, if she can be, if she wow, finished, look at the sword now. She's really, uh, yes. Yeah, so oh no, she okay, can't gonna, reach it. Oh, okay, so damn if you, you. If you move first, then maybe through the laws of physics, you might be able to reach her. Proximity okay, side. hang on, let me try that. So go move first and then take the action. In D and D, you can move and then take actions. That, you know, it works like that. Okay, let me... All right. Okay. She's now, like, just obsessed with showing off no, her it's, glowing it's sword. Like, it's like trying it's to talk like... your parents through D&D. Press escape to undo the action. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dad, that's guiding light. That's not actually a flame. It won't work the same way as flaming. But, it's oh an my attack God. of opportunity. It's, it's, what's, no, Dad, it doesn't mean that necessarily you're going to be able to do that. It just, it's just it's a possibility, Dad. Excellent. Boom. Oh, very good. Very good. Boom, indeed, so. Uh, cool. Do you have anything else? The Smackdown do? was laid. Smackdown was laid. Okay. Oh, there was this one over here. Oh. I didn't see this. One. Oh, hello. That was a ray of frost, which did absolutely fuck all to you. Watch as I die horribly. Just Someone coming over to you. I grabbed two of them, actually. Thank you, Tim. Uh, not good. Okay, ray of frost. Oh. Ouch. Ouchie. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, that's a star in. So we're going to switch over to his dual wielding daggers. Hmm. What are we, we going to do? We're going to do here, folks. Um, we've got a firebolt we could use. Piercing strike, mayhaps? Uh, we've got a sneak attack as well. Can we do a sneak attack? Must have Did advantage. you just casually mayhaps? Yes. Jesus <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. So no. I, uh, do you think I'm not in combat right now? So actually, fuck that. I'm gonna I'm gonna move him away and do something rather sneaky. I'm gonna Oh, I just spotted something as well. That's fun. Alright, um not so great. Not great. Sneak attack. Can I sneak attack? They won't be able to be. Oh dear, I seem to have done exactly the same thing as I did last time, which means I can't do anything. No! Well, well that's not good. Neil! 
<laughs> Neil, what were you just saying? Maybe just a second ago, just like two minutes ago, explain to your parents how to play the game. Yeah, I literally you, explain to myself. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I've got like a fucking knife thing that's going to be awesome. If I'm going to do Thunder Wave on this fucker, uh, it's going to be fine. And then Nasarian will be... Nasarian was just looking after his hair. Nice. He saved fuck. Okay, that's not good. Uh, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna push this dude. Get away from me! Uh, I'm going to shove him. Uh, that is literally my go, but I think she's kind of tough, so I'm going to move her into combat as well. All right. Yeah. Fuck you. The computer is thinking. The computer does not know how to deal with the chaos. It thinks, surely that person should have attacked me twice. I don't understand what this is. Now the computer is confused, Tom. See? Or either that we've just... Uh, oh, actually, no, it's your, it's your Shadow Hearts go, actually. No, it's not. Yeah, it's Shadow Hearts. Turn it. What do you do? So, Shadow Hearts. I'm going to move out of the zone of silence to start with. It's zone of silence and fixable, looks, though. It's not on you. It's just like an area. It sort of looks like a big dome in this area. So I'm wondering if it is a zone or yeah, I don't know. But like anyway. Zone, it? Yeah, that makes sense. Like, yeah, she's right. still kind of, maybe I should just move around here. She's no longer silence. Yeah, right. she's got exactly. Yeah, all the spells back. All right, cool. Um, well, this thing's pretty far. You can just tap it on the head and just like smack it around the face like a, you know, like. Fireball time. Critical miss. Oh no! That's critical miss. It's embarrassing for you, Tom. I know it's we're not embarrassing. For I know Shadow not me. <laughs> I know we're not playing together, but that's embarrassing for you, sir. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'm completely fine with it. Oh shit! What just happened there? Holy what? shit! Is Shadow Heart down? Oh no, that's you. Oh thank God. I thought like yeah. I thought it just smacked you and you just died instantly. This is what we need: supportive friendship. <laughs> I know, I know. It's so opportunity glee. attack. Did you favorite. notice the glee there, Amelia? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was. It was more surprise. He was, was like, whoa. I'm just going to, I tell you what, Neil, I'm just going to leave those guys over there to you. That's I'm not fair. Gonna... That's not fair at all. I might be, I'm, I'm technically <laughs> outnumbered right now. <laughs> uh, where are they all? Uh, all right. Well, let's not tell them about that one. Okay, so that is your go. So what's, what is Azra going to do? What's Azra going to do? Azra is going to move over here. That's, and then that's, cool. it. that's nice. That's nice. I appreciate it. I don't give a command. Okay. Uh, don't think I can command, reach. I'm dead, though. Uh, I've got command spell in general, but I don't know if I can reach. But let's try. I generally thought this, this battle would go the other way, where you would be the one in jeopardy. But now I have hubris, so now I accept the fact that hubris is my name. Thy name be No, hubris. I don't think I can reach. I can't reach that, so I let's not do that. All right. You do look I was amazing. trying to do a command spell and make them flee, like, basically back off from you. Like, um, ah, it's a mouse. Something like that. I'm going like to a range mouse. attack this guy in the back. If I mess no. this up. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll range attack this. You shouldn't range hit, attack no, this you, you, Yeah, you should be able to. You shouldn't hit Azra because I'm the other side. I think you can hit mm -hmm. each other I by I think accident. this pillar is in the way, actually. I don't think I can... Uh... What, about the, what about the person that's facing me? How about that? One of the, by the way, that's yeah. Oh yeah, but like uh, it's a fifty-five percent chance. I might hit you, Neil, You're but let's let's do no, that. I'm not in the way. You're gonna be fine. Oh, I missed. It's fine. I'm, I'm okay. You're Never okay. mind. It's all good. It's fine. Okay. We're all right. Yeah. Well, you know, an, an attempt was made. Oh shit! I missed that one there. Okay. So, uh, shut hearts and zone of silence again. Uh, guess this one's next up. One point damage. Zone of silence. Is that, the zone? is that like the cone this of shame? That's where you have to go after a long recording session. I just need to take myself off to the zone, zone of, silence of silence for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to use this acid arrow on this fucker. Maybe I should sit. No, you know what? Well, there's only 10, so you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going to use an acid arrow. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. My name's Astarian. And I'm going to try and see if I can... Uh, if I, Go next to this dude and do a little attack of opportunity, a little a backhand attack. Yeah. Oh, a little backstab there. A little, uh, little pokey pokey. All right, very good. All right, next up is, uh, oh, yeah, it's my turn. Uh, cool. So if I, meh, rush attack's kind of bullshit. Um, but that's just going to hit my boy, so I'm not going to do that. That's going to hit my boy. What if I turn to an enormous fucking bear? What could possibly go wrong? You're right. <laughs> Let's not do that. Uh, okay, so... I feel that was almost like the Norisa judging Neil's choices there. What oh my god, yes! Go wrong? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Alright, this is a 40% chance. I've, I've got a new magical spear, which does like a rush attack, which I think knocks them back. So I'm going to try that and see what happens. 
boom, does fuck all. Oh, great, okay. Uh, but my next time, I believe I get to have an automatic advantage. Okay, that's cool. So knock them back. And nice little off. shove back. Little shove. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm going to, because my character's more of a tank than the Starian is, I'm going to put her back into combat to take the damage and take the hit. Uh, cool. Uh, next up is, uh, I believe, Shadowheart, right? Shadowheart time, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Shadowheart's a very powerful character in this game. Nope. I'm going to run. run. Can she do a range attack thing? Is the pillar. In oh, you can definitely she hit do. that person. Yeah. What about a spell? Maybe guiding Let's try a bolt. guiding bolt. Yeah, nice. Nice, nice. nice. I think the scenery is actually blocking her, unfortunately. It doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? I mean, she's literally... It's this kind of... She can do this, this kind of balustrade can, thing here is... He can just do that. Peek. All right. Can she do a secret spam on her? Oh, yeah, yeah that, that works. That works. All right, nice. Okay. Cool. Okay, cool. So that thing is uh, shaking that off. That's fine. Uh, next up, I guess, is Azra coming in for the big win. It's going to come in and... Can you reach with your uh, great sword? Wow, what's that? What are you doing? This uh, damn, not enough. Oh, yeah. Not just oh, like your big old hero. Can you reach with the great sword from that distance? So you might be able to actually still hit with a. Normal... You'd think I'd just be able to like just jab it in the back a little just, bit. Like, just as just ass. point the sword forward. Come on, you can get the range. No, she's not doing it. Oh, um, you're only level two. I guess it's a level three thing. Poke people in the oh, ass. Level three. You go level two. <laughs> That's adorable. I need to, Amelia, I need to point out that it's also just level two. You know, it's so much. Um, Your book job is very right. cute and scary. You're very strong, Amelia. Yes, you are. Thank you. <laughs> Put your sword on a string through your coat. So you yes, oh, yeah, that's right. The sword just goes through the back of the coat. With the string. <laughs> a critical the miss again. The sword and the shield there. are both From attached by string. Yeah. yeah, this is it. Cool. A critical miss. Very good. Uh, useful, sir. Ray of Frost, which is also missed, thankfully. Very good. Um, He's too duking it out, magic style. Yeah. I am so glad that we half inch that dude's fucking weapon. That would have been awful otherwise. Uh, right, Starion's not going to get involved in this because, uh, you know. So Starion's going to run away. He's not going to run away. I'm He's, going over there. I'm not running away, Tommy. I just have great hair. It's right? a tactical retreat. It's a tactical, it's an advantageous maneuver away from combat. He's going to do it. Why is relocation? Oh, oh, for the oh. big fucking hit, a critical hit. Oh, hit. Thank you. I appreciate all of you. And then he's coming in to jab him in the ass again, because that's his thing. Just a little poke. He's going to show Azra how it's done. No, he's not. Uh, okay, nope. fuck it. Fuck, 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 fuck. He's running you away. surely must finish this one off now. I, I did finish him. Finish him. Uh, okay, so we're going to do a main hand attack. It's pretty straightforward. She has advantage. Just needs to tap him in the face. Nice. Uh, that's a true strike. That's fuck all. So now I'm going to push this dude so he attacks you first. On his go. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Don't want you to miss the action, as it were, Tom. <laughs> uh, now Shadowheart is up, I believe. Shadowheart is moving from here to do some more magic. What should we do? What should we do? Let's card try trick. A card, trick. card trick. Card trick. Yay. Card trick will do nothing. Whoa, but this. Wow, that was a big one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Very nice. Okay, good. So we are only one down, and this dude is only got one point left. And he's hamstrung as well. And possibly drunk. Mm. I mean, good. if... if he's just got bad posture. Yeah. He's got bad posture, Amelia. Yeah. Right. Oh, a big hit. Wow. Oh, hello. Hello. That was amazing, dude. That was very cool. All right, we're fucking heroes. Fucking go. Amazing. Right, uh, so yes. Astarian's going to lead the way, I think, because he's the rogue. and probably... uh, Don't forget to check the bodies. There's a lot of gold on them, my friend. Well, pick it up, sir, because we are we're basically, we're basically, we have that contract we signed before we started streaming where we have to share everything. Tom? Oh, yeah. You're good. All right, I'm going to head in here. Step <laughs> back. And take are this. You, are you a loop monkey? <laughs> no. He's such a loop yeah, that is the perfect, perfect expression <laughs> for one. I just, is I just like consummate loot monkey. I just have a pawn shop for peanuts. Um, okay, so uh, over here, buddy. A grubby little loot monkey. Grubby That's what I'm going to call you from now uh, on. I'm going to check this thing out. Grubby little. Oh, wait, 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 it's Amelia. Through knowledge comes atonement. Yeah, that's what you're all here for, folks. That's why you're here today. 
to hear quality narration such as where have you go where have you gone to um... we've gone into, okay we set we found because we have found some like amazing magical item or something that you're just pocketing while well, i'm just no only, grabbing the only, gold only one so because we're hard work and we found a thing that we're going to open now so as we uh, bowie's going to open it and I'm check out off. ezra's not into this no no but I, my, my my the thing you should know about my character she's a bit of a dummy she's quite She's not all together there. She's got an intelligence Hope the thing. Yes, yeah, she just goes. Uh, uh, oh. oh shit! Well, boss fight, boss fight. you know, boss fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! We're fucked. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie. Oh. Oopsie. I wonder if he's friendly. Hello. Oh, that, oh, oh, that's a little face. Look at that little. I'm pissed off at you. Hey, <laughs> what you doing in here? This is my place. Hey, I was <laughs> here. Some All right. Okay. Cool. What a curious way to wait. Hello. Maybe make friends with him. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. My character's inherently quite good, even though she is chaotically stupid. Okay. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Okay. Quite the question. So he has. <laughs> Wait a second, so let's read this through. So answer responses are mm, quite a question, what's the reason for it? So he has spoken, what he you talking about? A little spook by the crawling up the tomb bit, what are you? That feels kind of bowie. Uh, a little a peaceful and dead interesting, why aren't you attacking me? I don't think necessarily my character would have the wherewithal to put two and two together and realize they're not being attacked. Mm. But um, she's a, I think she's a little spooked by the idea of something crawling out. Yeah, so I, I like I, that one. I think, so, I think you right? should say that one. I'm, I'm going with that one. Yeah. So, Amelia, just to let you know, we are role playing the answers as our characters. So, we have uh -huh. to go with the logic of our characters. My character uh -huh. is a very tough, very instinctive uh, dummy. Um, she is not the cleverest, uh, she's not the sharpest tool in the box. She's a Love couple of sandwiches it. short of picnic, uh, uh, <gasps> a little bit on the dull end of the blade. Do you know what I mean? So, Some characters are so much fun to she, role play. She is very fun. So, that's what we're going for. So, <laughs> I am not enough. the same as those that are slain. Very confused, but yes. That is what I'm asking. Sort of. Won't yep. thou answer my question? Uh, yep. Yeah, sure. I mean, ask away. I'm not going to attack you. Uh, that's not my thing. Uh, yeah. Yes. I ask again. I like quizzes. What is the worth of a single life? Okay. No one life is worth more than any other. We're all equal. That feels... Actually, quite bang on. Let's let's hold on. For yes. A second. Let's hold on for a second. That feels very bowy. But let's let's check out everything else. That depends mm. on the person's deeds. Meh. A bit judgy. She's not very judgmental. Life's only vanity currency. Absolutely not. Uh, nope. She's not like that at all. Each life's of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. That could work. That could also work. The only life that matters is mine. No. Depends on the mortal. No. So we're between one and four. I think Bowie would say the first one. Yeah. It's yeah. that one or four. It's, four, it's one of four. But she, it seems like she... Four doesn't... Sorry, go ahead. I don't know. She needs to stop sacrificing. One, one feels very much like her, whereas four feels something that she needs to earn. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't think she's yeah. there yet. She's not like in that... Much. Yeah. She's just started the whole adventure thing. So I'm going to go with one. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. That is... Okay. Very well. I am satisfied. Really? Did we do what happened? I just like satisfied, satisfied then I must kill you. Oh! <laughs> okay, cool. See each other again at the proper time and My character's like, Are you threatening me? Are you not threatening me coming on to me? I can't tell. Both of them are very similar. Right, come on. That's it. It feels like a you problem, honestly. <laughs> it feels yeah. Like you, you, you <laughs> off the off goes, off he toddles. I Bye. love that character's voice so much. He's really good, no? It's, it's, those real grumbly ones yeah, that makes grumbly. you go, ooh. What's that? Ooh. Ooh, we have something nice and new he and shiny. He like Ian McKellen about him. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. I'm going to give I'm that. just going to sit down while you do your loot monkey business. I've already done it. I was very efficient this time. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, was there anything uh, good? There was something actually, you know, like there was something, armor? Well, there was something actually, no, there was something actually very fun. Uh, this is the amulet so of Lost... Like Gryffindor armor, Neil. No, it's not armor or weapon. You've got that. I'm You've got the best weapon right now. Yeah. Um, I'm too old for Harry Potter, sorry. Um, so, is that... Has Withers just come back? No. There, he's just come back in. Has he come back in? All right. Hello, yeah. Man. He's right. just wondering. Right, are you talking with us now? 
Oh, yeah, yes, I'm talking with him. He shooted me as well. You're trying to steal my friend. Okay, he's basically. We will see each other. You're trying to. You're trying to. It's like pet seduction. You're trying to like feed Withers so that he's more your friend than mine. I get what you're doing, Tom. Sneaky. Uh, so we're gonna I'm say, getting in there. I'm getting in on the Withers action. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? Um. Um. Mm, that feels a bit. It's number one or three. Another I think. Vague. Um, yeah, you're quite punctual, aren't you, as a character? I feel because you've been rigidly like brought up in the church. Yeah, you're, you're pretty punctual. Soon's rather vague. Exactly when to which day and time I've got stuff to do. I think it's your character. When the time is proper. You must hate that, Tom. I See if I can annoy him with my matter of factness just don't end, <laughs> just don't end us up in a fight i beg you please don't end us in a fight we will die here. the farther away our second meeting oh he's got me there basically he's telling you to fuck off in a very intellectual <laughs> yeah. way yeah he's basically just telling you to fuck off it's a bit ruse I think, you know i like this but he just does this in the background well <laughs> and just sort of like uh-huh okay my way. uh okay cool so we're doing well tom i feel um Astarian's got a book. I mean, we I survived, think. you know, I yeah. thought it was going to be a big boss fight I and it yeah. just turned into a chat, Fuck which is good. I, I thought we were going to be our faces being eaten. So yeah. uh, just very quickly rounding up everything that's uh, happened. So uh, I have a Amulet of the Lost Voices, which gives me a, a spell called Speak with Dead, which is very cool. Uh, Astarian yeah. has uh, a picture of just like cash. And there's a potion of mind reading has gone. That's kind of cool. Uh, you have this amazing sword, the Everburn Blade, which repeats it right at the beginning. And uh, we've all got pretty reasonably okay with cash wise. Uh, yeah, we're doing okay. So we can sort of split that evenly. That's fine. We can play together. And we've got some other stuff like glass chalices that we can just hock and sell, and some other gems and things. So we're doing okay. That's pretty good. I should I should point out that so far Neil has made a point of picking up every single magical item in the game and then uh, just sort of doling them uh, out. <laughs> As, as I, and when he is, sees fit. That is a benevolent <laughs> dictator. Yes, yeah, like a benevol- yeah, exactly. Like a benign dictator. Exactly, exactly right. I'll just go in here to the next <laughs> place while you strip the princess. Look, okay. a starian knows what he's doing. You don't amass generational wealth by not taking things first. Exactly right. And you know what? You've got to spend to make, haven't you? So I'm going to open this door again. We, we did leave this room pretty much on fire. You um, know... There's a part it's of me. everyone's game, really, isn't it? Well, maybe this my game is exploding a lot. This, this, game, this room is still very much exploding. You've got fire resistance, haven't you, Tom? Oh. I do have sort of. It's not complete fire resistance, Neil, as you it's, point it's out. Enough, like, I feel, to get. Wow, that's not a fire. To, enough to go. Oh, oh, oh. So, Hello. Where are you. I feel that you should try and using turn-based combat thing, which means you get to work out where you're going, you should try and get to that other door that we, we didn't open in the end. Because that's well, yeah, wow, those explosions are really to... big. But anyway, I think if you use turn base to be able to avoid those massive explosions. Yeah, just like just walk through the fire of the room of death. Are we, uh, we don't, Let's oh, just gonna, see if it's deadly. I'll quick, I'll quick say it for you, love. Um, I just think that we need to explore the possibility of what's in that door. Because it looks in, it looks enticing, doesn't it, Tom? Yeah. It's I'm coming enticing. to you right now. Okay. So uh we're just like hanging out here and oh, oh. Careful. High bags. I like that. I like that. Uh, okay, so um, I wonder what happens if I talk to my character. Well, so where are we heading more exactly in this room, Neil? Is it well, directly across okay, so it? You see where all the burning ash and the massive explosions coming, just like that. You're going to go <laughs> straight through there to the other side where that door is and see if there's anything that you can switch to turn off the flame. And we're going to stand okay. there and clap because moral support is all right, the battle. game. No, go into turn-based mode, for God's sake. And ungroup yourself because you don't want shadow heart. I mean, oh, you're, you're so on fire. Okay. I'm, on, I'm on fire. It's okay. You're fine. Just keep going. Dash. You know what dash is? You know what dash is. Yes, I know. You, what... Use the dash axe and then just run across. Sorry, my the dash will help. Yes, thank you. It's going to be fine. Where am I going to straight in? Uh, I'm going to give you a place to go to here because there doesn't seem to be any explosions there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to jump across. I forgot to tell you you can actually jump. Sorry about that. Uh, although that's my friend, you should have found out. Yeah, no, no, there's nothing in there. Uh, so then we're gonna dash like a star in us, and then we're gonna we're gonna go over here, over there. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna go there. Okay, so we're gonna okay, I'm gonna run the, my dudes over there as well. That's fine. I think that's fair. Um, oh, are we leaving the other party members behind? Not at all. No, we're, everybody's dashing over to that other door. We're all see, coming over here. Yeah, to see what's going on behind that door. Uh, okay. I mean, if I just jump, you, 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 do know, you, less... have a, you do have a jump button. You know that, right? Don't waste a step. I do. Yeah. You just um, choose not to use it because you're. Just likes you're having hot feet. I like running. Yeah, it, yeah exactly. This is really? like. Um, oh, shit. Like, you know, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. You're going to make people shadow heart, Neil. Oh, man. Make you oh, shadow heart. Oh, man. This isn't good. Okay. So <laughs> I think this. I think we made a horrible mistake here, Tom. <laughs> we have saved Millie. Um, okay. The door is locked. But good I, work. I, it's fine. I think it's going to be okay, dude. It's going to be fine. That's a good button to press. Yeah, it's a good button, right? Uh, I'm just going to jump over <laughs> here behind the candle and try and hide myself behind that thing. Wow, we are really fucked. We're going to have to do a long rest in a minute. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think I set off another trap. Uh, okay. Was uh, that engine? Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all, Tom. I don't think we can long rest in the middle of fireballs either. I think feel like that's not going to work. Okay. No, 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 so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna crouch and hide from him. Okay. Why have you taken the key? Have you it just happened when I clicked on the door. We just split the party. Yeah. Oh, this was nothing. There's Did nothing I? in here. This is at the start. We just wasted an opportunity. It's just a way out. Oh, it's just a way out. How boring. Okay. All of that, just to get out. Just to get out. Okay. Look, two of us are still on fire. I know. I'm, I'm going to say a two of us. It's like the sea. Go for a dip. <laughs> yeah, actually, exactly. You know what, I'm going to just run down. That actually work. Them. Let's do that. <laughs> that actually... Uh, uh, sorry. Come in, sorry. Quick, get in the sea. My little boots are there. There you go. Is that better? Oh, that's better. You're a bit like, on fire can, now. You're still a little bit on I'm, fire. I, I'm I'm fine, but I think Tom, you think you're right. Tom's a little. Yeah, bit. Can I just Tom's say that that room was bullshit? All of that just to get <laughs> out. I can't look. Trap room okay. is bullshit. It was, it was bullshit. Word. All right, we're going to take a short rest. Uh, spell slots uh, we don't get back, but warlocks do, and we get some of our health back, which is fine. Um, I can do a hang on. I can do a healing radiance here. Okay. Uh, all right, we're just going to line up in front of you. Uh, thank you, Mother. May I? Oh, that's good. I didn't realize it was a whole party thing. That's very cool. All right, so we're, we're basically, yeah, it's, it's we're okay. Yeah, like it's like a range. Yeah, oh, shit, just did it again. Um, all right. Well, okay. Uh, all right, so we are now going to go back. Well, that's okay, because we did the ruin stuff. I feel that we've done enough there. Uh, let's just press forward and uh, venture on. Why not? And I'm going to stop and take some more questions for Millie. Uh, Millie, how is yeah. you, as the as the DM, DM narrator, how do you feel that your heroes are, are doing? Um, I, I think you have achieved the unthinkable, which is making Jay Britton look good at this game. Amazing. Achievement um, unlocked. Thank you very much. So Thank well you. done. Thank you. Thank you. Honestly, right um, Thank you. I've never seen that done before. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I, I, I think you are experimenting with traps, and I think every level two kitty goes through a phase of wanting to experiment with traps. <laughs> Now you know traps maybe not for you. Now you and know not you can thing. just not do that again. Okay. <laughs> yeah, being oh, on whoa. fire not so much fun as it looks, <laughs> as it turns out. Wait, wait a second. There's a mind flare, dude. We can fucking we can mess with the mind flare. He's trapped. He's fucked. He's trapped under here, dude. Let's Do mess it. with the guy. All right, I'm gonna give guidance on to I guess Starian. And talk to him. I'm gonna go to a Starian. Okay, you're going. I should do. Uh, no, I should do guidance on you. Wait, 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 wait. Don't do, make any selections until I've done guidance on you. If you're doing things. There you go. Okay, well, now we're going we're gonna to listen in. What's going on? Could end its life here and now if our trees didn't feel. <gasps> what do you feel? <laughs> oh, this is a piece of thing, whether I could fuck side or right. What do you feel? How do you? How does she. What, what, would, she, what would they. Sorry, you're non binary, actually. What would they do in this situation? Hmm, this is a good question. My training would say step away. Okay. I think number three. You feel hate. Yeah. And you deserve to be punished for it. Whoop. Whoop. You should be whipped, made to bow before Isn't that kind of getting away from where your character's uh, faith is? Possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. Show it love, Tom. Oh, I don't like that. Give it a kiss. His mind seems to focus elsewhere. Wait, what? Mm -hmm. What do you do? 
Oh, dude, totally I'm gonna... <laughs> Somebody oh, just yeah. furiously shouting, Faerun, Faerun! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we established that was a safe word. <laughs> oh, wait, give me... All right, you here got, we go. You've nice got one. guidance already. Your guidance already. Right. I've got guidance. Yeah, yeah I gave you guidance yeah. before. Yep. Okay, rolling. Oh, my God, you need a four. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah. Ooh. Barry just comes up to you, just pats you on the rump and goes, good hustle. Lusting, <laughs> lusting, lusting for something that is gone. Wow. But then it's grip claws back with a vengeance. Eep. A vice locking your mind into obedience. Oh dear. It needs sustenance to survive and with your very body. Oh no, I don't like that. Mind. Uh, do you want me to chop its head off? Because I can literally leave this conversation and just chop its head off. Uh, you still got guidance okay. from me? Okay, that's not too bad. It's only five. You should be able to make that. Only five. Critical roll. Failure. <laughs> 40. You're fine. You're fine. Ma massive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You basically go, This guy's fucking dead. dead. This guy's fucking dead. dead. Defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. That's not the best kids. So here's a question for your character. Would they enact ah. some kind of vengeance on this thing or leave it to die? Because actually, if you took the life in cold blood, which is what this is, this is cold blood execution. Would you I'm in this thing. Dude. What is your oath that you That's taking? who I am. Wow. That's brutal. Fair enough. Why is you can have you've got a reward in there. You may have that spiked ball. It's yours. <laughs> uh, oh, well, oh, thanks, thanks, Neil. Thanks, like hey, <laughs> Tom. Azra earned it. <laughs> they earned it. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so all right. So that's interesting for your character development. So they're kind of not above executing something like a what they perceive as a monster. Even though they are a paladin, what's what is your oath? Though? What is your oath of faith? It tried to mind control me to let me eat it, it, it to let it eat my face. Okay. Uh, if you do that, you get stepped on. Like Fair enough. definitely. Uh, mm. There is a little area here we can jump over it with fire, but I'm just going to. I want to experiment with something. Uh, I'm going to throw. I'm, are you sure you don't want us just to run through the fire? <laughs> no, I just want to try a mechanic because I'm not entirely sure how this works. But you're so I, good at it. I know, but I'm just going to try. Little job. It's going to try something. So if we throw water on the fire, it does actually put it out. Okay, that's amazing. That's really cool. And the steam cloud does a little bit of... Okay, cool. Ostrification, but not actually out. Nice. Okay, so actually the mechanics of this game are amazing because you can make use logic and it actually works. Wait, okay, what's going on? What's going on? There's something... You can hear voices. You can hear voices, Tom. Like I hear voices. I hear like bird song. Are uh, you talking heard, to the birds now? Maybe. If I find a bird, you know I'm going to talk to. It. I've got to speak with animals. I'm going to. <gasps> good, 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 good. Yeah. Speak with animals. It is one Come the, on, go on, Doctor Doolittle. Do your thing. That and the owlbear is one of the major reasons I took Druid. I want to be an owlbear. I want to speak to every fucking animal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, wait. I see somebody. Okay, we're we're going to crouch and see like. Where, where did you just go? You just like ran up. You keep on okay. running away, Neil. Dude, top right hand is a mini a mini map. Where have you run to? Where it's are like you? Real life. I, I, you, ran, you ran off the mini map. I didn't run off the mini map. You ran off the mini map. I was going. Can you do a little paint? Do a, I can do do a, a little paint for us, Neil. Ping. Ping. All right. I think. Ping. Ping. I know. I can see. I can literally. You're staring at me. I'm literally like, hello. I'm here. <laughs> yeah. All right, so get into group, which is shift C, I believe, for both your little peeps into shift C. And we're going to sneak up on these people. You're not sneaking. Sneak. Sneak. Thank you. We're going to sneak, sneak up yet. on these fuckers. I don't know who these people are, but they're, they're, they're just, they're, they've got cages and stuff. And it doesn't I mean, look my, like. My character's not big on sneaking, gotta say. All right. The, yeah. Oh, we found Lazelle. Wait a second. All right. We're going we're gonna to sneak on these fuckers and just. All right. You ready? Let's sneak. Sneak <laughs> straight down the center of a road. You are yeah. so I'm going to pick up. But very this sneaky. Oh, he's, not, he's got nothing. Hearing. He's got nothing. Oh, fuck it. Let's talk to him. Hello. Hi. What you doing? The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. It's my people. It's your people. It is a How will you? Again. Hello. 
Ah! Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. <laughs> oh. Yet you hear her voice. What's that? What's that? Oh, good dude. What's going on? Paladin deception. Your quiet exchanges were handled words. Leave it to me. Get. Can you do that as a paladin? Can you lie? Millie, you might know this because you played way more D&D than we did. Can you actually... Can you I've every... never played as a paladin. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Can you I think in my order I'm not supposed to, but I'm liking this option. You're probably looking at this book. Are you being a bit naughty, naughty to me. Are you being a naughty paladin? <gasps> Are you being well, a Well, this is the whole conflict within me. Where from I know Grace, it. darling. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it's in. Oh, you put it like that. that. <laughs> you put it like that. Uh, let me give you a bonus. Hang on a second. Let me give you guidance. Uh, and you got plus two okay. charisma as well. So you should you should be able to do this. It's a you probably plus uh, three. This should to be six. twelve. Easy. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. They're right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Keep your distance, darling. Yes, I'm going to do something. Oh, what happened there? Did you just start fighting? Yes. Did you just pick a fight? Yes. Fucking hell. I just, I got bored. Fucking hell, Neil. You're so aggressive. What's wrong with you? You were taking so long. It wasn't wasn't me. It wasn't me. Astarian got really bored of this whole thing. And she went, why don't we just eviscerate? (sighs) This is so dull. I just can't. (laughs) I just can't. His back's right there. His jugular is thumping. So we attacked him. He's Uh, doing it deliberately. (laughs) (laughs) Kapow. Yeah, oh man, we keep saving that thing. That's really annoying. All right, I'm just going to shove him. I mean, I mean, you're on your own. Uh, okay. You're on your own. I'm not going to join in on what this you fight. No, you're right there. I'm, okay, you know what? I'm going to run past you, so you have to get on this fight. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a miss. Wait, uh, we've got witnesses. He's pissed off at you, Neil. We've got witnesses. We need to kill the other one as well. <laughs> So just, wow. We need to kill the other one, otherwise it's a witness, Tom. Uh, Azra, take the other one out. Okay, we definitely need to kill the other one. It's your turn, so I would suggest you get the other witness to the crime. Otherwise, we may have a problem later on. Ah, she looks pretty wimpy. You'll be fine. Um, I mean, we'll inflict wounds on you. Um, don't, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> It was my fault. That was that. literally a classic Astarian move. That wasn't Bowie. That was Astarian. I think we can all agree that was a classic move. By yes, it's Astarian and Astarian acting. And acting and not really <laughs> who you are. Yeah. What are you doing there, Tommy? What's going on, Tommy? I'm, I think I'm going to like, I'll buff you, but I'm not going to actually not be happy pull weapons it. on these guys. <laughs> Is there a way I can back down? Like, is there a way that I can like soothe this fight? Like, can I? Um, I don't like, know. Let's just talk about this guy. Come on. Is there a mechanic um, once we've almost killed them that we can say let's stop fighting right now? Do you know that minute? In I don't know if there is. I'm going to try and. Maybe there is. Maybe there's a way we can back them down. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll take that. Uh, Barry just just sees like somebody smashing. Goes okay, smash. Uh, cool, so that's your go, I guess. And then Azra is up next. Okay, what's... what's yeah, I think Azra? I'm stuck in this combat. Sorry about that. Um, in fact, I think if I run, then I'll get... if They'll get a free hit on me. I don't know if you're in combat right now, actually, technically. Because it looks like you're too far away. I'm sorry, but he looked at me funny. His back was towards you, Australian. He, well, you... Well, he felt like he was looking at me funny. There you go. Where is the cage with Liz? She's been way over there. Starian okay. has um, way too high perception. Yeah, right? That's why I've got high perception. I'm correct. I know what was happening. I can see the look on somebody's face from behind. <laughs> oh, what if we do... Oh, that's interesting. What if we do... Oh, that's fun. Maybe we get her in the fight. Okay, cool. Interesting. Mm, what yeah, I'm trying to think about at least uh, somehow. I've got Mage Hand. You've got a crossbow. Yeah, I thought would work. Shoot. There's a weakened base there. Look, there's a weakened base. So if you target that, you can probably just shoot her. I reckon. Look. Oh, yeah. Weakened right. base. Just shoot it with crossbow. Get Lazelle into it. Then you can really wash your hands of this fight. 
Not great, Tom. It did nothing. <laughs> no, it did. It did. It, 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 it did. They do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the goggles, they do nothing. Uh, <laughs> the weakened base has had two points of damage done to it. It's only got three left. So you did, you did good going, champ. <laughs> good going. All so, right, I'm uh, backing off out of it. Bye. Coward. Bye. You're on Coward. your own. Coward. Oh, shit. That's not good. All right. So, Sarin is sort of feeling that a little bit. Uh, how's he doing? Not great ease. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Heal you all. Heal your legs. That'd be great. Whoa, that's kind of, that's pretty cool. Pretty rad. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to also get run past you. And, uh, yeah, this is his turn. Uh, and Barry's going to jump into this. All right. So Barry's going to jump in. Whoa! Nice. Yeah, that's right. Your boyfriend's, maybe you should, uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? I, we can't leave witnesses apparently. So, um, sorry about this, love. Maybe if I just shove her really hard. I felt like I was bullying her a little bit. I, I regret shove her to her. death. <laughs> shoving her to, just unconscious. Just shoving uh, her unconscious. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, you're up next. Shadow Heart is up next, sir. All right. Uh, she will do a kill on you, on Astarian, if she can. All right. You're going to have to run her closer. Oh, no. Uh, She got, she, she got nice. Okay, great. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. I gracefully accept the healing. Took you long enough. He's one of those people, isn't he? A mm -hmm. thank you with a sting in the tail. One of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, oh, dude. Oh, little, little man. Oh, Tom, I've got something to tell you in a minute after we survive this uh, this battle. One point left okay. in the uh, weekend base. Ouch. Oh, that's not good. Oh, uh, no, she's actually, my, my dude's pretty tough, actually. That's cool. All right, a star in coming in with the bow action. Uh, I'm going to see if I... Well, do it live. What if I hide and then try and shoot? Would that give me sneak attack? I would, well, I can't reach, I guess, so... Well, that's it. Okay, is Lazelle has been released. Unleash Lazelle. Lazelle is out. Yeah. Cool, and she's joined the combat, which is great. That's cool. Um, she on our side? Yes, I think she is. Uh, where where is the person that was supposed to be chasing now? Where's she gone? Oh, there she is. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try an ice arrow on her. Yeah. Okay. Woo. Okay. Um. You know what? I kind of think it's it's bear or badger time. I'm gonna try badger. <laughs> We've all seen bear time. What happens in badger time? <laughs> I can borrow. That's a big badger, oh, Neil. Can, dude, I'm, big, I'm pretty impressed. It's a massive fucking badger. Look how big that badger is. It's fucking enormous, man. American badgers are terrifying. Is this an American badger or an English badger? It's, it's, like, a, it's like a honey badger. It's, badger. Oh. Like a, it's, a, it's a honey badger. Horrifying. <sighs> Well, on the way. Right. I went to the and said, look at the size of that badger. <laughs> I've never seen one that big yeah. before. <laughs> and you burrow, you say. <laughs> uh, I've <laughs> hamstrung it. Just let it be. Let it run away. Please. No, no, it's too late for that. We're gonna, I'm going to burrow. I'm going to burrow and see what happens when you burrow. I don't know what burrowing means. I can burrow here and then go over there and burrow. <laughs> and then I pop up and go, hello, surprise, Badger. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Okay. I'm, I'm so my actually I'm not even trying to fight her. I'm just so happy that my character's That's got, fourteen. My character's leaping around her with joy because because this is the first time Barry's ever turned into a badger. So she's just going to leap around this terrified individual because now she's a badger. She's just having fun. I'm not even in the fight anymore. You have to you have to kill her. <laughs> oh, can you imagine the camp conversation after this? Like, could you stop I mean, turning into animals mid-fight? I mean, it's lovely, <laughs> I'm sure, to have a tail. Amazing. But right now, we're trying to not die. Amazing. All right, Shadowheart is next, whether she likes it or not. <laughs> uh, Shadowheart's doing anything. Folks, we are going to stop off this, ba this battle, this epic battle of, of silliness. Uh, you guys have to end this. Ow. Ow. All right, Astarian is, is now pretty pissed off because these are his new chums and... She just uh, mm -hmm. shot the badger in the butt while the badger was having fun. That's not okay. That's not cool. So we're going to end this. End the fight. There we go. All right. Finally. Uh, so we're just going to very carefully uh, loot everybody. 
and then we are <laughs> we're going to take that off your face. <laughs> and then we're going to talk to Lazel. We've just freed, which is great, and the companion, which is good. Um, where is it? Oh, I've got to turn back into it. How boring. I'm going to turn back into a human. To, we can't loot anybody as an animal, which sucks. Um, it's a bit boring. Um, that's fine. Uh, so we just got some stuff for camp and for other go. people. Uh, if you're not going to loot, oh, you're in conversation with Lazel. All right, fine. Let's. Uh, let's I am. Yeah. Oh, wait, what's, what's going on? What's going on? Wait, wait, Tom, 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 what's going on? Yeah, I know. What well, you looting stuff was happening. So Lazel has basically just said that, um, like the temples. Um, we need to find something called a crash to stop the tadpoles. Okay. So I'm going to ask her what exactly is a crash. So where babies hang out. Hang out. Yeah, it's a crash. We... <laughs> this is like one's got a cigarette, yeah. the other one's, one's got, got a one's playing poker, inviting other babies <laughs> to play. Yeah, so that's where babies hang out. It's like a baby baby person's club, you know. You're a tiefling, dude. You should take umbrage with the fact that the Yankees are like not being cool with you. Your teeth I mean, you just slaughtered two of my people in yeah, front of me right? when we were about to leave. Yeah. So I'm kind of like wanting to aim that at you right now. Yeah, but um, they, she joined in. It's not like she didn't like try and at least attempt to do it. I mean, admittedly, your starring was the killing blow. The you Fine. Dismiss your weakest warrior. No. no I don't want to do that. <laughs> no. <wait>. no. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? No. All right. One there, this Sorin. Shut up. Yes. Precious be near. I must interrogate this Zora. Okay. Our very lives depend. So we have to find a tiefling called Zora. No, I think it's uh, get the Yankee. I'll get the Yankee. I think get right. the Yankee. Crash. Mm. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, we're going to take a little a little time out here for a second. Uh, oh, like something oh. Look, was... cliffhanger. Something is happening to me. What's happening to you? Where are you? Where are you? Where, 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 where are you? Where, where are you? Have you disappeared? Dude. No, I'm just... Your strength falters and emptiness grows within you. Oh, no, dude, you fucked up. Something no, I didn't. I did. This is, what, this is now what's happened to me. What just happened? You used to... Whoa, where are you? It's because you killed those innocent Are you dead? I... No. But you've just dropped. Oh, that's, no, that's not you. That's not you. Where are you? We can't even. We, I don't even know where you are. What just happened? Yeah, I just. Did you see what happened to me? No, your oath broke before. I, that's what I was going to tell you in the middle of the fight. You have like before we started fighting, your oath broke because you had deception. Remember the person you had deception. Are you with? really sure it was because of that? Pretty sure. Yeah. With not, not that you just killed two things when they no, were about no, it, to leave. It wasn't that before that happened. Uh, well, all right. Let me check what my. I just gonna check what my uh, post was. It might have been that. It might be. It might be the <laughs> sure, I love sure. this kind of non-committal. Like, oh no, did I'm, I break my oath? I didn't mean I'm pretty to. Sure, oh, sorry. I'm pretty sure that you can get your oath back. By the way, it's not like you can't get your oath. I'm pretty sure. Really? Did I, I? I only saw it, admittedly, at the beginning of the fight. But I think. All right. That, I want to see what I want to see what chat is saying about this. I'm pretty chat, sure. When that did I break? My you did deception. You told you told a massive fib. To the massive fib. It wasn't a massive fib. It was actually a kind of a white lie to get rid of them so they would leave. Did I break you your know, oath? And, How did I break your oath? Though? I don't understand it. Um. Yeah, people in chat are saying it's because the fight started. Oh shit, really? Yeah, I'm it was sorry. killing them. Okay, I'm not it was killing them. By the way, was actually... I am, I'm not trying to gaslight Tom. I'm genuinely thought it was because of the deception. <laughs> I'm doing thing. it by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so everyone is saying in chat, laugh my Cephalia says, laugh my ass off. It was definitely the murder. Um, Tom, I'm really sorry. I, I need to point out, I didn't mur I did not join but that's in. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. It wasn't your fault. I did it. So why would you get an oath? Right. That doesn't make any sense. Because I'm fucking paladin, Neil. Because I'm <laughs> the um, yeah. All right. Um, I guess there's a there is actually a non-violent thing I've just remembered right now. There is a way of knocking people out, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> apparently I apparently I should have prevent. I don't know how I should have prevented it. Um, is there a way, chat? Also, is there a way I could have stopped the fighting? Like, can you? force people to talk it out because I couldn't figure out how to do that. And a passive. Um, There's a so passive. Some... 
Oh, okay. So there is a way that you can do that. I don't know how to do that. But there is a way to do that. We need to stop. We can well, listen. We are saving. We I did save before. I did say before we fight, we can go back because that's not that doesn't seem fair that we don't know this about Tom's character, and uh, yeah, okay. I think we should. I think we should oh, take okay. a break. Uh, Harry, gonna... I turned on non-lethal attacks. How do you? To think... be fair on me, I didn't actually do any attack except on the correct cage. All my characters did support spells, but you basically but... just sat there and watched. So how do you turn on non-lethal attacks? How does that work? Uh, how do you do that, folks? Was, well, we should genuinely do not know mm. how to turn on non-lethal attacks. That's not like a right choice. That's just we just don't know the mechanics of this. I mean, we're going to have to just carry on role-playing this, Neil, but if we were role-playing this, I think this has been the juncture where I'd be like, oh, I'm out. My character would just yeah, be like, bye, like, That's then. it. I'll just roll up a new You thing. just cursed me. Thanks, man. Bye. <laughs> um, well, no, listen, I think we're so close to it. I think it's okay to reload because this was a genuine mistake. Uh, but there's a there's a passive button, Tom. A I passive. mean, to be fair on passive. you, Tom, you I were, found it. You I found were. it. There's a passive button, dude. Look at the bottom of your screen. This says passive. Passive right. button. That's okay, cool. folks, we're gonna reload that because that was my fuck up. It wasn't Tom's fault. Tom didn't choose that for himself, and we didn't know that that would fuck him because that's like a new mechanic. But thing. anyway, look, let's yeah. let's pop this for now. <laughs> yes, and ask Amelia uh, some questions. And ask Amelia some questions. Amelia, do you think Neil should have... <laughs> <laughs> well, I think um, that, that watching Neil discover that you can subdue people without brutally murdering them why is... Would you do, why would you want to do that? kind of thing I did used to study at university. So um, yeah. watching so we're, that we're, process yeah. happen was let, fascinating. Let me just get a pen and paper. Don't okay. kill people, question mark. Oh, they're still dead. I need to reload a different one. Sorry. All right, let's carry on. Sorry, I'm <laughs> talking about yourselves. It's fine. Everyone's oh, dead. Oh, God, please. really? We have to go back that far? Well, that's not uh -oh. good. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, mean, I actually remember um, playing a, a, an actual, like, a tabletop RPG near with once where he was the GM, and because my character arbitrarily murdered someone, he massively punished me in that yeah, game. Yeah, I did. And that yet, was really here, funny. yeah. Here, it was, yeah. Um, I kind of love this way of doing it, though, because you could easily just not reload and carry on with that and work that into the role play, right? Well, unless you want to play the last 20 minutes of the game, we're going to have, kind of have to. <laughs> the, the, the trick, I, I wonder, yeah, I mean, I'd be curious to see how flexible it is, because the problem is, is like my character is so deeply fucked off. With mm. that. Might be useful. Possibly the... the, the if they were realistically, we were role playing it, that would be like, I'm out. She'd be just like, they'd be like, I'm gone from this. But, but yeah, because that was like, I'd literally just talk those, those tiefling who are my people mm -hmm. into just leaving and, and the star and just went and backstabbed them. So and I have a question like, about this. Though. They would be like, I have a question about this then. So if, Tom, for instance, is like in a completely different, say that we split the class, which we're not going to do, and Tom is in a completely different part of the world, and I kill an innocent. Tom's oath still gets broken, even though he's nowhere near that, his character. Does that work? Mm. Because that seems like I, it's not fair to let that happen. Ethical dilemmas in Plus Gate 3. What as, lo as long as he's not in combat. Be... Oh, that's interesting. As long as he's not in combat. <laughs> I get it. Okay. Right. So as long as you're in combat, then it's fine. I can do whatever I need to do. Okay. But if you're in combat, then you should... I mean, the lesson we, I've learned a lesson. I didn't know about how to leave combat, so I didn't know what it was. Uh, anyway, listen, Amelia's here. Let's ask Amelia some questions. Let's that ask Amelia some chat. questions. I mean, yeah. feel free not to. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the shit show. No, let's do it. Let's do it. So what um, questions have we got? Okay. Here we go. I'm just going through... There's loads. Um, so <laughs> settle in. Um, Bring it. All right. Well, so, this is from Litton Baby Girl Rot. Silly question for Amelia. If the narrator could roll a class, what would it be? Ooh. Well, that's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Either rogue or bard. Nice. Depending on what mood I'm in. <laughs> for sure. Um, 
It depends. Do you mean the narrator or me? Because I I very wildly. Um, I've never played a bard, actually. I have pl- I'm playing a rogue at the moment. I'm playing a little tabaxi rogue. Have you never um, played a bard before? That's interesting. No. Oh, cool. No. No, because I, I always, I guess, I had the classic idea of what uh, a bard would be. And I'm like, oh, I'm not really down for like making up songs on the fly and that right, side of right. things. Right, right. Um, yeah, I would. I always tend to play. Uh, what have I played? Rogue, sorcerer, and druid. I'm playing a, a tabaxi rogue and a centaur druid at the moment. <clears throat> nice. And that's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I think I need to play a bard at some point soon. Hey, cool. All right. Uh, next question. Um, this is from you. Got tink. You got tink. Says Amelia, is there a particular line or quote from the game, um, uh, either your own or someone else's, that you like the most? Do you have a favorite line that you? I mean, you probably recorded so many you may not know. But yeah, to be honest, any- my, my answer to this changes every single day because I'll just have a stream on in the background while I'm, you know, doing the washing up or something, and suddenly a line will pop up and I'll be like, oh, I completely forgot about that. The authority line. I was not expecting such a huge reaction to, and I love that people have picked that up. I love any line when either the fourth wall is broken or I get to just give it maximum sass, like uh, channeling every head head throbbing, face palming DM that's ever existed, just going, well, you dug your own grave there, didn't you? <laughs> that that kind of thing. There are some great dark urge lines that are just like this visceral, disgusting poetry. It, it's so hard to pick because there are so many different forms of narration in this. Uh, there's also mm. a very amusing brothel scene. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> there's, there's a really good option. Yeah. In that, just absolutely hilarious and very unexpected. Uh, cool. Um, sorry, Neil's just messaging me about how to save my character. <laughs> um, uh, I had a couple of good ones. Amelia, this is from River Revivified. Amelia, as someone else with Aphantasia, uh, who does a lot of role playing, what would, how would you say it impacts your tabletop games? Um, hmm. I think I find the uh, role-playing side of role-play much easier than most people because I, I kind of translate everything into feelings. So it, mm. everything's very instinctual. Mm. The only time mm-hmm. I've ever found it um, detrimental to role-play, um, I, I was doing a, a sort of a spacey... Uh, God, how do you describe it? It was it was almost like, like Firefly, that kind of series. And I was oh, playing yeah. a... Somebody, somebody was definitely not a robot assassin sent to track people down and kill them. Um, and I had this a badass fight scene when her abilities were first revealed to everybody watching. And then the second fight scene took place in confined quarters rather than an alleyway, where the is where the first scene took place. And for some reason, I got really. Um, I got really hooked on trying to figure out physically what I could do rather than just letting that go and just going this kind of thing. I just slammed them into a wall or blah, blah, blah. So I was trying mm. to imagine it because I didn't want to mess the scene up. Yeah. Um, that's the only time it's kind of stumped me. And it was only afterwards that I realized that I was just getting too hung up on technicalities of it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it, it makes practical stuff when you haven't got a board in front of you quite tricky mm-hmm. um but there are all sorts of programs now for visualizing that sort of stuff that really really help me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. cool all right um, these questions are jumping around a lot but there's lots <laughs> of good ones. so uh this is from mellow bun bun and let me say um uh, you might want to answer this one carefully uh, hey, Amelia, not sure if this was asked before, but was wondering who your favourite companion character is and why. Yes, be very of... careful, darling. Or what? Or what? Pale and interesting. What are you going to do? Thank you. 
Um, people keep asking this, and I, I genuinely, I genuinely can't answer that because it's it's kind of like kind of like picking a favorite child but not because i created every different outcome for everything that all of these characters could possibly do i've seen them yeah. at their weakest and their yeah. strongest i've seen all their vulnerabilities mm -hmm. and all their paths and i feel that because i've been narrating as them as their yeah, course, narrator yeah. rather than somebody mm. watching them so i kind of feel all that pain and logic and motivation very deeply I, I don't think i could pick one because they all make sense they're all fantastically written and interestingly and beautifully mm, acted interesting no. really you're the only actor out of 248 actors that has had that experience nobody mm -hmm. else you're the only mm -hmm. person how yeah. interesting how wonderful yeah, it's it's been amazing. It's been very weird though, like slowly getting to know the rest of the cast because I think because I was the only person who didn't go to any of the mocap sessions. <laughs> you put it on your yeah, I don't think anybody else quite realised how big a part of this game I was until it came out, and they were like, "Oh shit, huh? Okay." <laughs> um, it's it's been really cool, like finally getting to go. Hi, everybody. Yeah, I've yeah. got three and a half years of pent up loneliness. <laughs> How are you doing? I can finally talk to you all. <laughs> Mocap Bastards is the quote that's yeah, in chat right now. Mocap Bastards is going on a t shirt. That's fucking right. That's fucking Absolutely. right. Absolutely. I'm, I'm going to go. What is Mocap Bastards? What is Mocap Bastards? I think was. Yeah, tell us. Uh, Mocap Bastards comes from the outtakes that I've been releasing that. Oh, oh right, 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 right. right, right, right. allowed me to. And there's just in the first. That was amazing. I think it was the first one. It was the first I just one. It was very funny. Lost my shit. Just like, <laughs> oh, you're just just walking around with your limbs, you mo dice. bastard. <laughs> it's very funny. Just bitter. I'm just bitter. But this is yeah. and this is the interesting thing. It's like obviously um every all of the cast uh, know you, but not, but very few had met you. Mm -hmm. So I've caught from obviously the one like me and people like that have known you before and yeah. you were doing it and that kind of stuff. So it's really I, I really like the fact that now we're all gathering together and people are starting to reach out to people that they hadn't met before, but maybe their characters have met. I think it's really lovely that um the focus isn't very much on you as well, which is great as it should be. And it's also nice for the other actors to go, right, that is that is the person that has been telling guiding my life for the last four years. It's very cool. Yeah. And also it's and, so you know, cool to get to know them as people as yeah. well rather than the actor portraying this character like i i knew you before i yeah. knew um jennifer english and i we kind of peripherally perif that's a word now yeah um <laughs> knew each other like we played mother and daughter in a game before and we've actually got to act in the booth together which oh is wow the that's most unheard of. um but so we've kept in touch but we don't know each other know each other and the mm -hmm. more i found out about her the more i'm and like we could literally be mother and daughter we're very similar <laughs> um uh same with samantha bayart yeah, yeah, we've been great. mates for ages and we're very similar in different ways mm -hmm. um but all the rest of that I, I can't wait until we we go to comic-con and i yeah, can man. like meet you all yeah, together man. like have amazing. everybody together it's, it's gonna cool. be you've got this big event coming up soon haven't do, you guys yes. you're all gonna be i don't together. know if you've heard of it london comic-con oh no did we actually drop that name into this <laughs> oh, well, now that we've started immediately we should probably uh, carry on darling i think we should darling you go ahead you do, you do your promo thing well, part, you know, excuse me for never really be comfortable with public mm. speaking. However, uh, yes, yeah, so uh, as Millie and Tom both said, we do have this amazing event. It is the full companion cast of Baldur's Gate 3, which is the playable origin characters and also the non-playable characters um, as well. We're all meeting in MCM London. Uh, we're going to be doing panels and signings and meet and greets as an as a whole uh, companion party. Uh, Matt Mercer is going to be there as well. I'm not sure if he's got time to join us, unfortunately, for that one. But he's also there with Critical Role. And he's crazy busy. Uh, so hopefully we'll be able to try and make that work on the weekend, maybe on Saturday, depending on his schedule. That is not guaranteed, folks, so please. Although he's there and we are in touch, which is lovely. And Matt is an amazing human being. He's such a wonderful human being. But we are there. And Millie is there as well as our narrator DM. And we'll be there together, yeah, talking all things Baldur's Gate. So, yeah, the panels, you know, do you know what time the panel is? It's Friday, isn't it? 
Come on, yeah, we've got one on Friday, one on Saturday. Yeah, cool. And Millie's there the whole weekend. So if you really, if you haven't got a ticket, there are some left, but not many. Uh, if you want to meet Millie, I urge you to. She's a sterling mm-hmm. human being and very <laughs> fucking funny. Um, so, no, yeah. un- undersell, over deliver. Oh, sorry, sorry. doing it the she's, wrong way around. She's okay. They're going to be horribly <laughs> disappointed. She's, she's just the most, all right. I hear she's a piece of shit. You know, she so reads dull. everything off the script. It's not improvised at all. Yeah, I'm like Ron Burgundy. Ron Burgundy. I'm Amelia Tyler. <laughs> Uh, no, she's fucking awesome. Don't listen to her. Um, so, yeah, if you want to meet Amelia so, and anybody else uh, in the cast, come along, folks. Mm. Ruben in chat says, a reminder for MCM interested people, next week is the last week to order tickets for the physical delivery. Um, any other tickets will after, bought after August will be digital and pick up at the event. Yeah, exactly. Um, and there will be other things we'll talk about we can't talk about now, but there are other things that we're planning in the future, so we'll let you know as and when that happens mm-hmm. as well. And Millie's very much a part of that because we're all a big party, which is great. Um, now, sticky point. I personally think that this is going to fucking nerf your character severely until we come up with a thousand gold and then splash it out on getting your oath back. We can do it because it's kind of an I interesting bet. experience. Let's let's talk about let's just carry on talking with Amelia. Yeah. We're gonna, we'll talk should we, about this. Should we, should we finish off the playthrough here? We've accidentally then, given you yourself a goal. Oh we no. We have, which I'm not comfortable with. That's Stop. What, I tell you what, why don't we agree that we've gone as far as we're going to in the playthrough <laughs> and just focus on Amelia <laughs> when Tom and I can failing argue. out of this decision. Yeah. Basically, saving all, saving all my cursing up for you until after. Well, we can, well, the thing is, we can off, <laughs> off, or not live. We can roll it back and then get back to this place where I made this terrible decision for the next <laughs> playthrough, which is tomorrow, Tom. So why don't we do that? Because that seems fairer, I think. Yeah, like uh, let, let's 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 let's. We've got Amelia, here, so let's talk with Amelia, and we can worry about the game later. I'm just yes. here saving um, your friendship yes, by convenience. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so, so let's carry on. Uh, any other questions at all, Tom, or anything else that you'd like to ask? Uh, so. There's a lot. I'm just going scrolling through to find one to ask next. Um, let me have a look. Uh, do you have Amelia? And I think I kind of asked this, uh, and maybe you're going to be very diplomatic and not give a, <laughs> give an answer. But do you have a favorite character that you've ever done? And they say this is from Wolverine, and they say I loved you in Divinity. OS 2 uh, oh. was the first work of yours I saw, but do you have a favourite role that you've ever done? Oh. I've got a few favourites for different reasons, and uh, some okay. of them are performance reasons and some of them are accomplishment reasons or just, like, I managed to get through that reasons. Oh, it's, wow, okay. it's tricky. So, like, Malady was amazing to play, and that was kind of my first feeling like I'd come home. Mm-hmm. Like people saw me and got what I was for and were just letting me fly. It was very, very cool. I love her. Mm-hmm. Um, Nyrissa in Pathfinder Kingmaker, I love the character. Beautifully written. Yep. So in-depth and mm-hmm. pained and conflicted. and it was Very cool. Um, but I feel proud of myself for that. And I've, I've got a little statuette of her, actually, in my oh, recording cool. studio. Amazing. As a memento to remind myself that I did that. Mm. Um, not because of the performance, because I, I am very proud of the performance. Uh, but I was completely undirected for that role. Really? Um, really? Yeah, they just sent wow. me the script. Um, wow, but also, cool. it was recording right in the middle of a heat wave. Um, oh my god! You must have been stuck in a booth with just sweating uh-huh. through your eyeballs. Yeah, I had to record at night. Wow! On my own, and wow. I was doing like ten minutes, and then having to open the booth and go for a walk. I, wow. I ended up recording the entire thing completely nude. So that's a little bit of information. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my rest is completely you know, you, know, you, know, you know, you say that, but when I during the pandemic, when everything went completely tits up for everybody. Um, uh-huh. I was recording, we were starting to do some of the stuff for this as well, but I was also finishing up um, some ADR stuff for Resident Evil Village. Uh, for, and actually it was the DLC stuff that nobody knew was coming. And I did the same thing. I, I literally, as we would, and they had a video, there was a video link. So I, I, I put, luckily it was just here. But then, like, during the thing, I was just, like, sort of shimming out of more and more clothes because uh-huh. it was so hot. Because I was I'm just, using... I'm just going to take my cans off just Literally, for a second. Literally, like, just, I'm just going to, just going to, like, <laughs> I was sweating. It was awful. Yeah. So I know exactly what you mean, yeah. Oh, my God, you poor thing. Yeah. 
So there's that. Um, I really like playing Wendwag in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous because that was, I don't tend to do a lot of different voices. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of like my main bread and butter is my natural voice or something approaching it. And mm -hmm. then I've got like variations on the theme, but Wendwag is really far from my natural voice. Um, so was, I really enjoyed that. And I've never seen. Um, without wanting to spoil her too much, like emotionally and sexually, she's a very complicated character. And I have never before seen um, a character with those preferences, uh, for, in my opinion, accurately and uh, oh, cool. with, with honor mm -hmm. shown in a video game before. Um, you know, she's not a punchline. Yeah. Uh, and that, that side of things was really cool oh, to get great. to play. Very cool. Um, we still got time for a couple more questions. I think we are going to be finishing yeah. at ten tonight, um, which will be in about just under ten minutes or so. Uh, but yeah, any more questions at all um, for Amelia at all, please? Well, this is this one is from Ivory Templar, and they actually ask, uh, "How, Amelia? Uh, you said you knew Neil before this. How did you two meet? Was it on a oh, wow, job?" Yeah. <laughs> can oh, I tell oh, a story yeah, can now? Can, you can, can I? You can tell. I, I can love this. this is my favorite meeting anybody story, story yeah, ever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, so and <laughs> okay, so uh, in fact, when I met my my now partner back Ooh. when we were friends, we had met for the first time, and we were talking about how I had like this hyper expressive, very mobile face, and he was like, "You should do mocap." Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, I'll have a look into that. And I found a training course and went along. And I rocked up early because ADHD. And uh, if I don't arrive early, I'm going to be late. late. So I turned up like crazy early. Crazy early yeah. And I was the first one who walked in. And the, that was the, the imaginarium. Yeah, yeah. So the technicians hand me the suit and kind of vaguely point me in the direction of this this place, this room that I was going into. And I walked in and there's like a sofa and a, a like a table and fruit yeah. in, a, in a bowl and i'm like i guess i get changed in here then cool so i start stripping off and i'm in my bra and pants and this guy walks in enter mr newborn uh we start <laughs> chatting as i'm getting to oh it gets so much better um <laughs> so he then starts stripping off as well and we're chatting and chatting we're both in our pants <laughs> No, um, it's not weird, folks. More, it's literally just—it's not, it's not, it's not weird like that. Like we're just like we're both thing. getting ready. It's like yeah. theatre. We're just okay. Cool. Nice yeah. 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 Yeah
Well, sort of. At the time, we were still figuring out the course. So I was, still, I was very much in it, and I'm in the suit, and I want mm-hmm. everybody to be comfortable, because we hadn't quite figured the courses out as they are now, which are a lot better. Yeah. Um, and just to be clear, folks, that doesn't happen often. <laughs> Like, it hasn't happened in my career. <laughs> that's the reason why this is a funny story. It's a funny story. <laughs> but that's, that's how I met Amelia. Yeah, we became friends yeah. instantly. So there we go. Um, there yes. are, there aren't I, many places I, you can go after that. Not really. <laughs> we're not we're <laughs> naked. We're just in our underpants. You know? like, yeah. Sort of like underwear. It wasn't like... But I mean, in an ideal situation, that's not how I would be meeting not my really, teacher. Like, hi, nice to meet you, Amelia. <laughs> no. Cool. Good. No. Nice to meet you. Great. Uh, yeah, that's how we met. So, I yeah. have one last amazing question uh, <laughs> that follows on from this. Uh, this is from of, of Rosiat, and they ask, Hey, Amelia, I have a silly question. You said historian lovers need therapy. Do you believe Neil should be held responsible for this? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> um, I think Fuck. that the writers of this game knew exactly what they were doing, and so does Neil. Yes. I can can neither confirm nor deny uh, anything to do with that. (laughs) I was just trying to play his truth. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, No, it's not horny jail if you own the keys. It's not horny jail if you own the keys. That's the rule. That's a, just a ha- that's a horny home. <laughs> I think the other thing as well. <laughs> the other thing as well for all of us, I think, was that um, yes, it, it's just a very sexy game, but also it's a very fun. It's a very fun game. It's very silly. Mm. There's lots of moments between. I, I think that's why all the heavy stuff works. Mm. Is that there's lots of fun stuff that people yeah. really take the opportunity to squeeze out the silliness and the ridiculousness as a D and D session often gets. Um, so I really appreciate the fact that we mm. get to do, like you, like you do it to do, you get to do 16 different versions <laughs> of how you tell the story. And so yeah. for all our characters, we get to do a whole bunch of different aspects of life for our characters. It's not just everything's just mm. really heavy and dark. Because a lot of times in our old CRPGs, the big character that would be the stoic character and everything's heavy and their responses are always downbeat and da 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 And very rarely do they get to move away from that sort of like very strong facet of a character. So I'm really glad that we got to really express and really go yeah. most, I think all the characters really got to go on quite a wide journey through their, through who they were mm. in that way. I, I love seeing that side of Astarian as well, all the, all the different sides of him really, because I I get cast as characters like that a lot, like where yeah. there's a flirty, flirty and a little cheeky wink and a yeah. nod. And it's very easy for that to to be seen as everything that the character is. Yeah, that exactly. There's no depth beyond that. You're just made to flirt and fuck off. And it's so nice to see um, when that mask falters, when, they, mm-hmm. when there are little mm-hmm. cracks in it or that it's actually used as a, a safety blanket or almost to mm. a way of protecting someone and making them feel powerful mm-hmm. because as somebody who mm. is naturally very flirty obviously um i i kind of do that as well it's it's much more fun to just uh be at ease like that but people mm. do like to project onto people like mm-hmm. that a lot mm-hmm. um and you will get every little bit of somebody's judgment if you're a flirtatious person because you're you're pushing all sorts of buttons of like that person at school who made me feel like this yeah, or cool. that person who stole my boyfriend or th- all that gets directed at you you get to see the best and the worst of people yeah. as, as opposed to characters like that as opposed to obviously stopping mm-hmm. and listening and seeing who that person yeah. is yeah that judgment yeah you're really right i think mm. it's uh, it's important that i think that also, it's important that games have grown up with that. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. you, we can be mm. grown-ups in games now. Um, yeah, yeah. It, I think for a long time, with the exceptions like Fallout 1, 2, mm. and some of the mm. earlier stuff, which was really testing the boundaries, like Planescape Tournament, or, uh, Torment, all that kind of stuff. I think with those exceptions, the, you know, that, that did start to push where what is the norm and what is the norm mm. of the storytelling in games. By and large, it was pretty like, this is the game, but actually the, the story is yeah. sort of just justifying the game. So now that the mm-hmm. games, game writing and game direction uh, has grown up a lot, I think it's great that people are really, really wanting to to go very, very, very deep into mm. characters like the ones that we've been portraying or the ones that you portrayed in DOS 2, for instance, Malady, mm. things like that. It's really heartening. I, I think see. it's a reflection on modern morality as well, how, mm. how that has opened up to a much wider experience of the world and 
we're far less judgmental than we were before. Like games before had a very strict morality yeah, yeah, it, sure. <clears throat> upon them and you had your good path and your bad path. And yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas games like like Baldur's Gate 3 are basically going, what do you want to be? Yeah. I, I will yeah, yeah. be your DM yeah. no matter what your choice. And I don't make a judgment. In yeah. fact, if you're choosing Dark Urge, I am with you on that. That's yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, Whatever yeah, yeah. your choice mm-hmm. is. And that that to me is what makes a good DM or GM in real life is somebody who's mm-hmm. like, I'm here to provide a framework mm-hmm. for you to have fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you tell mm-hmm. me where you want to go. Yeah. You tell me whether mm-hmm. this is comedic or horrific or... Mm-hmm. If you want to be introspective or action based, like I will follow you. Yeah. Mm. Just show, give give me those little hints. Yeah. And look, I I love that. You're hugging the characters, totally. you're not yeah. stopping them. You're yeah, going, I'm exactly. coming with yeah. you. Wherever you go, I'm coming with you, but I'm not going to judge or stop you. Yeah, exactly. We're just coming together. Along. That's really yeah, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice way mm. of saying that. Um, okay, cool. We are going to wrap it up. Um, I'm just going to quickly find somebody to raid because I think it'd be really fun to spread the love and <laughs> okay. just somebody else's raid and go back. Raid. Um, is there anything else that we want to? A very quick, succinct question, perhaps nothing too uh, long. So we can uh, no, but I'll just remind everyone that. Oh, Karen's just gone. No, no, oh, so no. I've, I've rectified it. It's fine, don't worry. <laughs> okay, you came back. Um, oh shit! Oh, just, just, wrong. just wrong. saying. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. <laughs> Well, all the kind of, there's too many buttons open. It's very difficult to work out. What's too going many on buttons. Well, it's you had buttons. no problem pushing buttons earlier, did you? <laughs> that was not, my <laughs> not my fault. Now, not my fault. Not my fault. He's done it again. The cameras yeah. may go because I'm trying to find somebody to raid them. I'll come straight back. I promise you. Yeah, Jay's streaming Baldur's Gate. Oh, where's Jay? Is Jay on here at the moment? Is he, yeah. Is he playing right now. Let's raid the <laughs> shit out of Jay. Let's <laughs> out. All right, Jay. All right, Jay Britton. Yeah. Masterful voice actor that you are. We're going to raid. Uh, uh, all right. So don't tell Jay. I'm, I'm not sure if you have direct contact mm-hmm. with him right now, but don't tell him. I don't talk to him unless right. I have to. We're going to raid uh, Jay Britton, who's a fantastic voice actor, and uh, it's definitely somebody you should check out his work as well. Uh, sorry, go ahead, folks. Uh, you talking to me? I don't know. Talking I'm completely me? zoned out what was happening. I was just going to remind everyone that we're going to be back playing this game tomorrow together. We're going to try and salvage the, 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 my character. So um, Tom and I are going to have a grown-up uh, conversation right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at, at 8 p.m. BST yes. um, to carry on playing and figure out what we're going to do. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Huge. But so I hope to see you guys then. Yeah, we'll work it out. And even if we roll it back, don't worry about it. It's just because we don't want to nerf stuff straight away. No, oh, well, you know, maybe we'll keep it, but we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk. talk about I need that. to think about how to narratively keep it. Um, this is the thing. It kind of breaks the narrative. I feel like I fucked up without meaning to the old narrative, <laughs> which isn't fair. So we'll talk about it. Um, huge thank you to our mods. Huge thank you to Millie for hanging out with us. It was so kind of you to hang out with us. Oh, um, it's really fun. And we really appreciate thank you. you talking. And Thanks, thank Millie. You. No worries. Uh, right, your videos will blink in a second, so I'm just going to try and oh. raid Jay. So hang on one second while I do this. Uh, but huge I'm thank you. Dash, put the, the, my dog is looking at me like, please, please <laughs> it's put me out now. Like this. Uh, no worries. Yeah. We're going to say a very quick goodbye. Thank you very much. Stay for the raid, folks. We're going to raid a friend of ours. And thank you again, <laughs> Millie. We'll see you soon. No Bye. worries. Bye. 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 Uh, Millie's on Cameo. Check out her Cameo. She's on Cameo. I'm also on Twitch. And on Twitch. <laughs> Check out the Twitch as well. Check out everything. All the social. We'll be streaming soon. Yay. All right. See you soon, <laughs> folks. Thanks a lot. Good night. Bye. Bye.